previously on the Joseph Anderson stream. Here we go. I'm smoking up in the diner. Ooh, what? Ooh. Does he think titty is better to say than titty? Yeah, is it not? Oh, no, no. Okay, can no one drive today? No, no, you're dead. Oh my God. Never in my life has I, have I ever been more in tune with a character than I am with this one. Not sure if parked or driving. And on the material, yeah. girl. Being a skull pisser is worse than being a sink pisser, right? It's just not sanitary. Don't wanna be a Canadian idiot. What if my what if I made my kids be as loud as possible to annoy a nerd so I could have a fight? She loves the microphone. George, I need I need your side quest, George. You have my attention. I would do anything a hot doctor's only to. Curse you, four gigabyte patch! Shaving or not? Have still haven't shaved all winter. I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling the urge to get to it though. I don't know. It's getting a little annoying. I have trimmed my mustache because um, I'm very soda pilled, and when my mustache gets to a certain point, um, my mustache hairs will get caught in the little tab under uh, the opening of the can, um, and will rip painfully out of it when I pull the can away from my face. So I have to trim my mustache. Um, but apart from that, I haven't shaved. I drink water. I drink tons of water. Just because I'm soda pilled does not mean I also do not drink water. I drink more water than probably any of you. Imagine not drinking bottled soda. I know, I agree. Bottled soda. Wait, 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 what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm pausing the music. This is important. Who said that? All right, Periot plays. All right, when you say bottled soda, you mean glass bottle, right? Because I'm on board. Glass bottle is this, the best vehicle for soda. Plastic bottle versus can. Can, can is clearly superior. Plastic bottle is, 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 you know... I don't know where I was going with this. Inferior, there we go, let's just go with that. Glass can, plastic, yeah, that's how I agree with this. This is the tier list. Lemonade, rate it. I'm not big on lemonade, but I support people who drink it. Plastic bottle is better than can, what do you mean plastic? What the fuck are you talking about? How is plastic? That's an impossible take. Plastic is cheaper than, we're not talking about the cost. We're not talking, we're talking about the flavor and the taste. Like glass bottle is, 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 too expensive i think for the gain you're getting but we're talking about like flavor just use a glass what do you mean or better okay listen it's it's not about motherfucker it's not about like how it goes in your mouth it's about the quality of the soda when it gets to your house if i poured if I had a glass bottle, a can, and a plastic bottle in front of me, and I had three identical glasses, and I poured them all into a different glass and I drank them, they would still taste different. And the glass bottle would still taste the best in the glass when it came out. And the plastic bottle would still taste the worst compared to the other two. It's not about how it's getting to your mouth. It's it's about how the, the taste has developed in transport and bottling and prep. Plastic bottle is clear worst. I, I would even say, I would even say, the smaller the bottle, the worse it gets. The little 500 little milliliters or, or below bottles of Coke are just like the caramel taste is so strong compared to the bigger two liter bottle. Stick the game. What do you mean, Wuggy? 330 milliliter, milliliter bottles are a war crime. I agree. Yep, I agree. True. Just put it in a glass. Base streamer. Those small 500 milliliter bottles have an odd burn smell to them for me anyway. Yeah, I, I think I can, I can agree. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. Is it even worth it to make your own lemonade? The grocery store lady seems to think so. Energy drink tier list when I've only ever had a monster and I didn't really like it. Taste aside, cans are the best because of the easiest to recycle. Is aluminum easier to recycle than glass? Is it? I don't know if that's true. It probably is. Aluminum is really easy to recycle, is it not? But is it better than glass? You can just melt aluminum. You can just melt glass too. Back in the same day, they would just wash and reuse the same glass balls. I mean, if they do it effectively enough, I'm okay with that. That's, you don't have to, I feel like cans do have to be melted down because who knows what could get stuck in the bottom of the can and it's hard to see inside, but a transparent glass bottle, I would support just the wash and reuse as long as they can prove that it's sanitary. Like that's what we, it's not like we, we reconstitute our fucking water, you know what I mean? Like put it through the antimatter sieve to make fresh water again. Like, like no, Joe, there's only six minutes in pre stream That's true. What are we at? Oh, we're at seven. Oh no. Oh no. Now me and Chad are going to switch places. Opinion on mineral water. I don't know if I've ever had a mineral water. Isn't it a scam? Like, I'm sure that in enriched uh, water has its place, but I don't know. There's a, there's a Reddit story that I think I've said on stream before that lives rent-free in my head, which was 
This story is actually disgusting. So like, like warning, if you're really sensitive to things, you might not want to listen to this story. The story is actually disgusting. And it's about, it's about drinks. And it was, it was about what's the weirdest thing that ever happened to you when you were visiting a friend's house that they thought was completely normal. And it was about this, this guy went to his friend's house and they had dinner. And after the dinner was over, all of the unfinished drinks that were still in the cups and the glasses were poured back into the containers to be put back into the fridge after the meal was over if they did not finish their drinks. And they thought it was completely normal. I feel that's not so bad to be honest. What? Just finished the drink? Glad you glad you brought that up, chatter. All right, let's 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 mute the microphone again. Let's sorry, let's mute the music. All right, let's mute the music. We have we have some. Oh, this is by me, by the way. This is by this is by uh by Joseph Anderson. It's um, it's loss. It's it's a yaya. Yeah, yeah. It's a yaya. Yeah, yeah. I I see it as a slightly perverted, but but we'll see. Uh, let's let's scroll down to something else on the screen. What's this? Mob Psycho. <laughs> Mob Psycho 100 by Merrick. Come on, guys. Joe probably just did a quick Google search and found the localized Western cover art first. Mob Psycho is more Joe fan art than All Life is Strange 2. And ooh, I mean, yeah. Why was I insane for thinking that Mob Psycho was about the mob? You know what? A lot of people agree. One, what are the number? One, one, zero. A lot of people agreed with me actually with this. They were like, "Hey, if he doesn't know what it is, like, I think that's a, that's a pretty good assumption. I, 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 you know, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. What's what's the issue? Okay, chat. All right, it's hypothetical time. It's hypothetical time. Okay, it's hypothetical time. Um, um, mods, mods. I need I need a poll ready to go. Can I do the poll? Am I allowed to do a poll? Hold on. Is that something I can do? Is that something I do now? How do I do a poll? I would like to create a poll. Poll. Open setup menu to create a poll. All right, I'm 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 setup menu. How do I do setup menu? Where's setup menu? My ringtones are gone. All right, I do slash poll, and then it says open a setup. Okay, so if I type type it in, if I hit enter right now, is it gonna is it gonna set up the menu? It is. All right, all right. So question. All right. Okay, here we go. Can you still hear me? Okay. So I gotta I gotta say I gotta say. First of all, this hypothetical is gonna sound a little insane, but you have to understand. I've already workshopped this with with Jads and I know where this is going to go. So I have to add a qualifier to it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. So you are at something like a McDonald's or McDonald's adjac adjacent if you do not partake of the McDonald's, which I wouldn't blame you. Okay, and you are eating some sort of food that is that comes in pieces. Okay, so if you're at McDonald's, you're having like a 10 piece nug. All right. If you're at like a bar, you're having chicken wings. If you're like, like, um, if you're vegetarian, you're at a place and you're eating cauliflower bites or whatever, like you, you are having something that is this like, like pieces of small portion food. Okay. If you don't like nuggets, if you don't like cauliflower bites, if you don't like chicken wings, then you do like, like spare ribs, whatever you want, so, something at, at that size. Okay. So you are at a restaurant and you are partaking of, of, of this all right and you become full all right you become full and there's one left so there's one chicken nugget left there is one chicken wing left there's one cauliflower bite left there's one spare rib left whatever there's one left okay what are you doing you're full what do you what do you what are you gonna do with this one you're full okay now people are gonna say just eat it. They're just gonna eat it. Okay. So this is when the the, the the hypothetical becomes deranged because because people are ignoring the fact that full means full. So now I have to make you full. Okay. So Ronald McDonald materializes out of the air when you eat the last piece of food and says, "Wow, you really like this," and just gives you another one. And then, okay, are you, what are you gonna do with that one? You're gonna eat it. All right. And this continues until you are absolutely full to the point that you cannot, you literally cannot have any more food in your stomach. Okay. Ronald McDonald just keeps giving you another final piece until you are completely full. All right. So now it becomes the, the real question, okay? What would you do with the final nug that you cannot eat because you're full? Would you leave it or would you take it with you? Take it home. A poll is already- What do you mean a poll is already active? I'm gonna ban a mod. I'm gonna ban a fucking mod. What do you mean a poll is already active? This poll needs to end right now. Oh my god. Report poll. I'm reporting. I can't cancel my own poll. You can't even see who did the poll. It's fucked up. I know who did the poll. Man, it's forever too. It's like a, a it's a long ass poll. This is dumb. Do you love wasting food? That's not the question. The question is, do you take it home with you or do you leave it? All right, now we have to do it the the fucking ghetto way in chat. All right, just just fucking type it in the chat. Do you take it home or do you leave it? It's it's and nug. And nug. Okay, it's pretty split. It's pretty split. All right. I got to say, I think the leave it is taking it actually, but we can't tell because the poll's not there. Taking it, okay, people who are taking it home, you're gonna take like an nugget home? W what? 
hide it in my cheek like a hamster. And then what, take it home? Yes, I paid for it. This is insane. A singular nugget. I know, like, like there are people on, in chats are telling me they would take a chicken wing home. A chicken wing. Please bag that up, waitress. I want to take that back with me. What? That's insanity. Poll is down? No, it's not. Is it? It's not letting me open the poll menu now. Food waste is a serious problem. It's not wasting food. It's it's a nugget. It's a tiny little thing. Oh, this is where it came from, by the way. Like, I, I, think, I think some of you need to know. Some of you need to know. You're not supposed to eat until you're uncomfortable, man. It's fine not to finish your food. You don't have to clear your plate. If, if you were consistently like having leftover food when you're cooking at home, then of course, of course, make smaller portions and try to and try to make it so that you have the right amount of food for what you're trying to go for. But if you're out at a restaurant or whatever, you don't need to finish your fucking food, man. You don't have to. If you order food, any fast food or whatever, like you don't you don't have to. The portions are not that strictly controlled. Like you don't have to eat it all. It's bad to. And don't put you know social pressure on other people to finish it too. It, it encourages unhealthy healthy habits. In what do you mean incorrect? That's not what you said. I think that in general, you should try to aim to leave around like 10% like at least of your meal. Like I can't remember the last time I fully finished a meal apart from some that were actually really strictly portion controlled. I think it's a good rule of thumb. You shouldn't be like eating to the point where you're uncomfortable. Insa How is it an insane take? Germ of it's not a germ a bit. It's not a germ a bit. Okay, when when does Ronald McDonald stop materializing and giving me another nugget after eating one? Once I leave the establishment or once I'm back up? Once you leave once you leave the establishment. Joe, I admired your passion, but I honestly don't care. Okay, I respect it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. If it's such a small amount of food that it's not worth taking home, then you might as well just finish it. Then the hypothetical is kind of dumb to me. No, because that's because you're not understanding. This is what fucking pedantic weebs gonna be pedantic. This is the whole point. You're full. It's part of the hypothetical. It's not a dumb hypothetical. You're full. That's the whole point. You're full. And people ignore this and go, no, I would just eat. No, you can't because you're full. If you like, no, I'll just make myself eat it. Then you're not full, aren't you? And now you're just disagreeing with the premise. And then we have to go into magical genie in a lamp Ronald McDonald hypothetical land in order to get you to understand to actually get you properly full because people just won't understand and go along with the fact that they are full. They won't just admit it. Full is a spectrum. It's not zero to one binary. Well, in this hypothetical, it is zero to one binary because the whole point is that you can't eat it. You're done. Like It's not about would you stuff your face if, you, if there was a little bit of food left. That's a whole other thing. The issue is, and the core of the question is, would you take a nugget home if you had a nugget left over, if you, if you were done eating and people are just ignoring that part of the hypothetical because they just want to be like, I would just eat it. Like, no, that's a whole different other fucking question. Why is there a new, po how is there another poll? Yes, if I like the taste, I'll take it. What, you're gonna take a nugget home. And okay, how small does this go? How small does this go? There's there's a French fry left, a French fry left. Are you, t are you taking a French fry home? Yes, what do you mean yes? It comes in a bag, bro, it's a French fry. It's an singular French fry. If it's delicious, yes, I'm taking it. Is it gonna be delicious when you put like your singular French fry in, in the microwave when you get home or air fryer? Or are you gonna like smuggle it in? Like like you're mixing crack and cocaine with like your basic ass frozen freezer fries that you're gonna put like one restaurant fry in with the rest of the bundle, like you're the special one. I'm gonna taste you when I get to you. Like, like what are you doing? Put a, yes, there's no way. People are just People are just being funny. There's no way you're taking a french fry home. No way. No way you take a french fry home. Sometimes you just eat a bunch of miscell miscellaneous leftovers. What? How is that a real Merrick message? Merrick, did you get hacked? What? What do you mean? Potluck leftovers? So, so what? Once, once a week, you just pull it out of the fridge and you got like, oh, here's a nugget. Here's a French fry. Here's a chicken wing. Here's a spare rib. Here's, here's a little, a little 10% of like a slice of fucking cold coleslaw. Here's half an uneaten piece of KFC chicken. Here's a couple of pickles that fell out of my burger. Like what? The grab bag? What do you mean? Boomer streamer can't comprehend frug frugal youths. Hey, I've been really upfront about how me and Lily were like, like well below the poverty line for years in Canada. And we still didn't take like a French fry home, the once a year treat McDonald's that we got. Like, like a French fry, like no way. That's why you were poor, because we didn't take a skill issue. This one's going in the jungle mix. What the fuck is the jungle mix? Is that like the cringe, cringe collection, but
It's like a Tupperware container in your fridge from all the little leftovers you found. <laughs> Make a little bed out of your collection of like ketchup and sweet and sour packets. Make a little stew of all your shit. Like what the fuck are you talking about? Off topic, but I watched a VOD with you interested in Lasix. I just got Lasix two weeks ago. If you want to- No, we're busy right now. Sorry. We're busy having a grown-up serious conversation. I think- I think you're all so full of shit when it comes to taking a french fry home that now I have trouble- I- like, I can conceive taking a nugget home. I don't agree with it. That seems unhinged to me. Completely unhinged. Fucking screw loose, prying nails off the floorboards unhinged. But I can see it happening. There's no way you're taking a french fry home. There's no fucking way. No fucking way you're taking a french fry home. And french fry. No. Stop me? Well, if you want to do it now to prove a point, then you do you, man. But like, I'm not saying like you consciously are looking at, you know, you've gotten to the bottom of your meal and you're completely full and there's one french fry left at the bottom of the, of the, of the, the, the packet or the, the whatever the, the box of french fries are. And you're like, you know what? That's coming home with me. There's no fucking way. A nugget, you know, I don't agree, but I can see it. Okay, Michelle Obama, we get... <laughs> You don't know me, I will take the smallest salt grain home. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, okay. Gotta, gotta whip out the portable salt shaker that you keep in your pocket just in case you come along to, to find a watermelon. Get your hand on the counter and just scoop it all into the side. Pick out the little flecks of dust and grime that are off the table and then just like scoot it into the salt shaker. All right, screw it up, that's coming home with me. Could not the last nug or fry be a little treat for a pet? Oh, French fry? I could see a nugget. Sure, I could see that. I look, look, that's why I mean there's a difference between nugget and french fry, okay? Like, it's, it's, I don't agree with it, but it's conceivable to me that someone in, in a moment of, of unhinged, you know, insanity would take a nugget home. But a french fry? You bring a french fry home, kneel down to your cat, and be like, there you go, buddy, that's for you. Enjoy. What? You can bring a home, you can bring home a little french fry as a treat to your kids. Oh yeah, gather around children. I have a fry. Let us, let us take, take the fry and cut it into quarters. Little, little nudge to your favorite. I made yours a little bigger. Don't tell the others. Enjoy. Thank you for the fan art, Merrick. I thought the anime would be about a crazy person in the mob with a name like Mob Psycho 100. Yes, like a like a, a, a mobster that would take home a french fry. anti weeb streamer 2023. <laughs> Man, Kiru looks pretty crazy there. God damn. Who's this by? By Myers. First fan art submission made while I procrastinate. Thank you very much, Myers. Thank you. What if it's a curly fry or an onion ring? A, cur a curly fry? The curl of a fry does not make a difference in the constitution of the fry. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It, whether the fry curls or is straight does not matter. It's still just an singular french fry. An onion ring, on the other hand, an onion ring to me is, is, is a nugget tier consumable. So like that becomes in the era of, I really strongly disagree with it, but that's that's a significant amount. Unless it's a tiny little onion ring, I don't know. <laughs> What's this little papa? What the fuck? By Zestorin, I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot what Joe said that inspired me to make this, but I swear there was reason I've forgotten too. What is the What the? Big Hypnospace vibes. This is Hypnocore. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Wuggy? Yeah, it's Hypnocore. Do the little claw. Yeah, yeah. Here's some lore for you as the creator of Bikoi. Um, Bikoi is like reverse Wolverine. The claws are always out, but with effort, he can retract them back in. But if Bikoi ever like goes to sleep or whatever, they'll they'll come out. It's, it's, it's the opposite of Wolverine. What? what? What was confusing about that? I'm trying to beat Ludwig for two days now. Any tips? I can't. I can't anymore. Uh, like, it, how are your energy levels? Are you bringing your french fries home? Wait, does Wolverine require concentration to keep the claws up? Yeah, doesn't he? Isn't it like in the first X-Men movie? Like, like he has to like, he has to make it happen. He has to like tense up his muscles to like force them out. Cause, cause it's just like part of his bones, isn't it? Like is, he has a, he has a, a special skeleton and and like rogue says to him does it hurt and he like says every time and that was like the coolest line in the whole movie yeah it's like pooping yeah, exactly like it, like it, it it takes effort to do it once they're out they stay out Have, has there ever been a shot of wolverine having having his claws out and his fists aren't clenched yeah joe tell us about marvel lord wolverine's not marvel Mo wolverine's dc what are you talking about Famous investigators with invisible partners, a primer. Some call him Tequila Sunset with with his, with his 
<laughs> yeah, his invisible partner is his, his entire his 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 fucking menagerie of uh of different personalities and thoughts. Still, somehow one of the most accurate representations I think of uh of what existence is like. At least uh, at least that's how mine is. Don't take the fry. Volition check. The fastest pelvis scanner in the West with five year old anime girl. Well, if you say it like that, it just sounds wrong. The greatest milf of the 21st century with reaction image ghost. Wait, what? Please just call him York. That's what everyone else does with Zach. Obviously, <laughs> this is <like> Zach Brown. <laughs> why is this the four gigabyte patch? Uh, a 20, uh, why is this four gigabyte patch? A 20 kilobyte file? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it wasn't. Schlop, schlop. Oh, it's Yoshi. Oh. I'm begging you to clap in tune. Babe, wake up. New clapping criticism just dropped. In tune? What wrong time signature? What time signature? I made a song for, for the jingle in, in Deadly Premonition, by the way, over the weekend. I was humming it to myself when I was out with the kids on the weekend. I took them to a place that had a claw machine and and Finn, Finn won first try and then Leo had a turn and he won first try and he got three toys in one grab. Three toys, one grab. So they walked away with that with, with four, four toys. So they came home and they gave their sisters uh um some toys too. I think it was one of those everyone is a winner machines but like getting three toys is still I, I don't think is the intended is is not the intended experience anyway i mean i was i was whistling the um the the song from deadly premonition while we were out and they thought it was the mario theme and they started singing that and then i made a song up to go along with it and then i get home and i'm like and, and then someone brought up on jazz that northern lion already made a song to it and they posted it and my song's too similar to his song so now i can't fucking sing it Anyway, I'm being rude. I didn't finish the fan art. I'm sorry, Zestorian. Joseph Anderson, nom de jour, animateur on direct. Is this German? With the tiny people in his pewter. <laughs> Why did I even bother writing a guide? Oh, I know who that is. I know who that is. Hey, I followed the guide almost, almost to the letter. Is your real name Vladimir? It is not. It is not. Are we going to play the game today? Yuzuka Colossian. We already did that. We had a lot of fun. Followed. What do you mean I followed? I followed. I got DP fix. What do you mean? I read through that whole thing. The only reason I didn't, okay, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. Let's 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 air some fucking dirty laundry, okay? Here's the only reason why I didn't do it exactly, all right? Because there was this one line that made me realize that it, maybe it wasn't for the best, okay? Here we go. Here's the one line from. This is from the guide, all right? So run the game in compat co compatibility mode, Windows 98 slash ME or Windows Vista Service Pack 3 to avoid a lot of crashes. Keep in mind that doing this will affect the aiming of the guns in the game and it will make the final part of the game unbeatable so you have to switch back to normal or change to another one okay what kind of fucking guide is this that's why all right so i did some of it but we're like doing it piecemeal because what the fuck does that mean all right dirty laundry aired that's why do, 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 do. explain the the Rigan milf thing can happen after he watches mob psycho i'm not gonna i'm not gonna watch mob psycho what are we talking about Rest in pieces, Broken Alex. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was a pretty good guide apart from that, though. Are you getting sick of people posting the same post over and over? Do you want to make fun of people with slow reaction speed? Introducing... <laughs> Get snailed. Throw the jar full of snails to those individuals who couldn't grasp the flow of time. Will it solve the problem? No, but it will make you laugh anyway. 13 Sentinels is delayed? Snail this streamer. By Maddie. And now it is ad time sponsored by Get Snailed. You wouldn't snail for delaying 13 Sentinels. You would you would snail someone who comes in and says, Joe just announced that 13 snails is, is 13 snails. <sighs> Joe just announced that 13 snail snail tunnels is delayed and then two seconds later someone posts the exact same thing Then you get snail you you snail the other person you snail the second person Also remember snail meta if you put a salt react in your comment before the snail shows up You can't get snailed pre salting means you can't get snailed It's it's like it's like preemptive chanting although it's allowed putting salt down prevents snailage question mark No, it's true my god, the 14th snail. What has happened? I don't know. We're just we're just really on our bullshit today. I don't know what else to say to you. This is really good, Maddie. I like it a lot. What in God's goddamn are you talking about? How are so many of you not on the Discord? Should I still sing my song when the when the song comes up? When the when the little ditty starts to play? I have social anxiety. I have social anxiety too. Jazz was making fun of me. I didn't like that either. We have so much bullshit to get through today. Okay? Chat, if if you are at a restaurant. If you're at a, okay, you know what? We'll leave that one till we get to the main menu. We'll leave that one to the main menu. Here we go. What's next? Oh, for fuck's sake. Last week was such a disaster. 
Ah, Mr. Anderson, sorry, I ran as fast as I could. Is there any way I could make up for the delay? Dishwasher tech support. Okay, this is this is not what the dishwasher tech support guy guy like guy looked like. But you know, um, if 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 I can indulge in a little bit of prejudice right now, I think maybe you're in in somewhere in the right area with the ethnicity. Like he was a fine guy, you know, like he wasn't a big problem, but. But you know, he he did not he he was not a, a Chad dishwasher tech support guy. Okay, I could I could not talk to this man without triggering a long ass story. At one point, I thought it was safe to compliment his drill, but no, he had a drill story about how all of his friends bought the really expensive brand name drills, but he got his for for forty bucks on Amazon from China, and this has lasted longer than all of his buddies' drills, and it's the most powerful drill he's ever had. Because I was like, wow, your drill's so much stronger than my drill that I have downstairs because I was impressed by how much like torque it could generate and like just get the dishwasher screws right in whereas mine is like not as good mine's a Bosch all right and he and I was and I was like that's that's a, a fun little you know like can say that and it'll be like haha yeah I'm being sociable comment no it, it triggered a story everything made a story who comp compliments drill it was a powerful drill and then he cut his finger and we had to get him a band-aid I was getting worried because he was hiding it. Like he, he was like holding his finger really tightly and I thought maybe it was way worse than he was letting on. And then like, and then like Lily got the, the little, like, sorry, all we have is Paw Patrol band-aids and we showed him and, and we were like, which one do you want? Do you want, do you want um Marshall, Chaser, Sky? And he was like, Sky, obviously. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And then, so so the little Sky band-aid, like it, it covered the cut and I was like, oh, phew, okay, good. Like I, I was worried. So it wasn't too bad, but like I was, I was concerned that I was gonna have to take this guy to the hospital, even though I can't drive. <laughs> I swear I doodled this before Joe came back and said he was so flustered he needed a whiskey. It was stressful, okay? Dishwasher tech support guy has more fan art than all of Life is Strange. There's more by uncredited artist Chan. Video games are rotting the minds of our current youth. Don't you agree, Mr. Anderson? Nod, nod. I mean, that this is kind of how it happens, but like with a different kind of tone, more of a like, like my, my video game stream is downstairs where I occasionally do play a video game instead of just riffing with chat, you know, just waiting for me muted. I just spoke to them before I came back upstairs and heard this. So yeah, I'm just gonna nod and make a face and look at Lily like I'm Jim from the office, but like, you know, like, by the way, nice drill. It was a nice drill. Okay, is this a dad thing? Like you, like I didn't really appreciate this sort of thing until I became a dad, but now I look at him like I have to do some home repair and it's like I appreciate hardware Sorry that I'm such a daddy that I like to compliment other daddies on their drills. Sorry Sorry, sorry by uncredited artist Chan the Joe expression here is just immaculate I agree everyone loves uncredited artist Chan's designs. Oh, uh, what the fuck is this? Who is this by? It's by Anu Wos and Wos Everyone like gaming late at night and you hit you hit shift too many times in a row and then all of a sudden that really loud <laughs> comes up and, and your window gets hijacked by the sticky key thing and you have like a mini heart attack and you're like what the fuck is going on and you're, like, <gasps> and you're like oh sticky keys holy shit yeah, that's okay there's, <laughs> there's no way i made that sound did you edit that sound to make it sound more like a chicken there's no way i made that sound how do i make no, it louder it our, it was, and then all of a sudden that really loud <laughs> comes up and and your window gets hijacked by the sticky key there's no way. There's no way. I'm not the only one who heard a chicken noise, right? Special thanks to Boulder for helping me out. Oh, smiley face. Oh, Boulder and Anu working together. I should have known. Audio essential for this. Charlie Chan, my beloved. I hope it was loud enough the second time. There's no way. There's no way. Thank you, Anu. Thank you, love. Friendship ended with 13 Sentinels. Not even played, by the way. Frey, I think it was the melee skill tree that changed his mind. By Maddie. You want to satisfy Joe? All you need is a mid-range weapon option at the start. 13 Sentinels, more like 13 streams of, of DP. Yeah, uh, we're almost an hour in and we haven't even started the game yet. Yeah, so so bi biggest plot twist in all of gaming, on the weekend, on Saturday, Forspoken moved up from a four out of 10 to a five out of 10. Forspoken actually got a little decent on the weekend. Like we, we unlocked a new movement tech and a new attack thing. And it actually, it's it's it got okay. It went from bad to okay. All of the Forspoken fans in the world were in our chat on Saturday and they were like, like really like lobbying their game. I, f I got to feel like I was Joe Biden instead of Joe Anderson. For, for a whole stream. It felt great. I had to tell them to stay in their lane at some point. Also, I announced that uh, we're going to be playing the Resident Evil 4 remake when it comes out, and we're going to make 13 Sentinels pay for it. So, you know, get fucked, Alice. Get fucked, 13 Sentinels. That's what we're going to do. 13 Sentinels has better plot twists, I promise, than Forspoken. There's no way. There's no way. Here, Joe, what is it? What is this I'm clicking on? Okay, this is, this is the raw audio. And then all of a sudden, that really loud 
comes up and and your window gets hijacked by the sticky what the thing fuck how do i make that noise i don't i don't think i can make that noise again right now how did i make that noise that's a really good chicken impression is it not holy shit try it <clears throat> no i can't that was just a stupid buck <laughs> just making <laughs> I'm just making noise. No, I can't do it. I can't. How did I make that noise? Just think of the sticky key noise instead of the thing. Yeah, but I'm trying to think how I got in the position, how I did the sticky key noise. I wanted like a really like sharp, scary noise. I can't do it. Anyway, thank you, Maddie. <gasps> it's our girl. It's our girl. Matt, uh, Merrick, you're feeling better? Bye, Merrick. Go home, Fido. You're drunk. File name, Polly Exclusion Suggestion. Sensible Chuckle. What? I would like to have a sensible chuckle. Oh, the, the, the drunken hairpin. Watch out. I love Fido so much. Wait, are they? is it also floating as she's driving, falling through the world? Loki, fall, cars falling through the world, deadly premonition. One of my favorite stream moments of all time. It was pretty good. What the fuck is Fido? Imagine being new. Imagine being new. Fido, it stands for faffing around in the open world. Or is it faffing about? Is it faffing about or faffing around? Either either one works. Faffing about in the open world. So Fido-chan is what we embrace whenever we just ignore the main quest and just go faffing around town. It's faffing, it don't stop, can't stop faffing around town, chan it up. Da, 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 Pokemon for porn. Like that, that. I think it's around. Joey seemed quite a beat today. Thanks. Thanks. I, I'm on a, I'm trying to sleep a, in a little bit more and uh, to have uh, more of a concerted effort to have a coffee before stream because I'm, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm uh, losing energy halfway through the, um, the stream lately. Although I'm having trouble. I had a, I had a, had a meeting with, uh, with Sarath and Wuggy earlier and I was having trouble speaking a little bit. So I'm having trouble placing my words today. I don't know why. Coffee with milk. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit with milk. So does FPS stands for uh, Fido's per second? How many times do we embrace Fido per second and, and go off in the open world? Man, I love Fido. And if, oh, we ended it with Fido. Oh, that's good. That's good. What an ending. We ended with Fido. Do, 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 do. All right, let's play the game. Joe's like a robot. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone else have an audio interface XL, XLR microphone? and use discord and find that it doesn't work play well with discord does usb like blue yeti microphone work better with discord because I, like i feel like i have a really good setup and it just it sounds awful whenever i i use it on on a discord call nugget question from yakuza what was it the discord was bullying you about that you want to save until the main menu uh, look at all these people that want want more riffing bants bullshit hold on they're embracing the, they're activating the Bant circuit. Okay, hold on. Let, let us get into the game first and then we'll, then we'll talk about it. Let's get some, let's get some music. This is why you need a podcast. This is a pod, it's a solo podcast. And sometimes we play a game. Is there anything wrong with that? I think it's a good format because it doesn't matter what we play at that point. It's just for me and bullshitting. That's it. Joe should go on the Joe Rogan podcast. I can't go on the Joe Rogan podcast because because I know, I know I would do this and it's a really bad joke and it's not even like a, a nice joke, but I would do it I, and I know I would get kicked off. I would not be able to resist calling him Joe Rogan. <laughs> I would not be able to resist saying it to him and I would get kicked off. It shows the wrong mic in Discord for me. Also, noise cancellation makes sounds like I, I mess with all the settings and nothing I did, did has worked. So it's not it's not good. It's not good at all. It's also intermittent, so it doesn't always it doesn't always um happen. Unfortunately, can you tell the zoo joke? Please? Okay, th is the deadly premonition hate club here today? Let's make him not play the game, or is this the new meta? How long can we make Joe not play the game? Where were we in the game, by the way? Previously, during the investigation. Yes. K. In the coffin. I knew I could count. Never fails. Never uh, fails. The perpetrator. Bit off honest tongue. Jackpot sack. Trish? A shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So, so says, says Mr. Mr. Stewart. Stewart. Oh, well, there's an old story. George, Hopefully. speak up. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. This case is gonna take a while. Wait, I'm not kidding. You said earlier we're gonna say it's going for the main menu. Yeah, now we're getting into the game, so we're not we're not listening to the main menu music because main menu music sucks. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna have this atmosphere while we talk about this. Why is it running like ass? Oh, is this just how it is? Was it like this last time and I just didn't notice? Look how jittery this is. No, there's no way it was this bad last time. Is it? I didn't I didn't change any settings. Okay, what if I like leave and come back into a different room? Maybe it's got something to do with that. 
Oh, it's awful. What did you? I didn't do anything. Maybe it's because I alt tabbed out when we when we uh to to fix the window. Hold on. Let's 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 restart and then not alt tab out. Try compatibility mode. There is no compatibility mode. Stop mining Dogecoin. No, you can't stop me. Try playing on Switch. No. Wait. Why do I have so much space on my hard drive? I should have less space than that. I transferred some stuff over. Well, maybe that's gone forever. Whoops. How is it fucking? I didn't change anything. I didn't touch Deadly Premonition. No, it's got nothing to do with The Witcher 3 video, don't worry. It must have been because I all typed out a couple times to fix uh, to fix OBS with it. It's gotta be that. Okay, even the main menu looks a little rocky to me, to be honest. Uh-oh. If restarting the game doesn't help you, you have to restart your PC. I had this issue yesterday. What? Well, while you were playing, you just just you were just playing Deadly Premonition. What the fuck, man? Why? Why is it like this? Joe, you have to restart the computer to fix the SFPS bug. It happened to me. Why did it happen? I believe you, actually. I believe you. Are you launched using dp.exe? Yeah, I went to the folder this time and I launched it from there instead of from Steam. And, it, and it's still like this. Why are you playing Deadly Premonition? Because of Votos. All right, I guess we're gonna have to restart the computer and restart the stream. Sorry about that. All right, let, let me let me ask my question. Let's let's do let's do the uh, the bants before before we go. Okay, before we go, and you guys can think about it while I'm gone. Okay. All right. Okay. So you at a restaurant, all right, and you and you order your food. Okay, your food, your food comes to the table, right? You ordered like a burger or something or so, and you, you ask for no onions on the burger. Okay, you open the burger bun, you look down, there is an onion in your burger. You're not allergic to onion, nothing like that. All right, nothing like that. If you don't like a burger, then something, something on, the, on that level. Okay, a similar level of like the order is messed up. It's not totally messed up. It's not like you asked for a beef burger and they brought you chicken or whatever. It's just that you asked for no onions and then when they brought the burger there was onions on it do you send the burger back i don't think you should i don't think it's worth fucking with the kitchen and the staff for something small like that thank you all right all right twitch chat the rare twitch chat w over discord i'm opening i'm opening discord and i'm typing it right now here we go scroll down to dragon's den get fucked dragon's den there you go done so there you go done Joe, not now. It's gay time. Fuck off. It's always gay time in Dragon's Den. Come on, Joe. The onion smell will stick. And that's not that's not enough of a, of a reason to send it back. If they got the whole order wrong, then you send it back. Now it's worth it. And also the kitchen should understand. But like, if you send it back, oh, I asked for no onions and there's an onion on my burger. Oh, sorry, your highness. There, there's a high chance that you're that it's not worth it and they're going to mess with your food. It's not worth it at all. What if it has mayo and you don't like mayo? Scrape the mayo off. Just scrape it off. What are you? Be an adult. Anyway, I'm gonna restart the computer and then we'll start. Sorry that we have to do this. I hate I hate it when the stream is, is split, but apparently that's this is an issue. See you soon. Bye bye. Okay, it's working now. We're good. Restart Chan save the day. Thank you whoever suggested the restart. Maybe you should have written the guide uh, to to make the game work instead. Okay, let us go back into the game and Oh for fuck's sake, there's the fucking cursor on the screen now! Do you guys see that? How come Pout and Pickle no longer on Discord? They, I mean, they should be. Why are they not? I can use them. Double marble contribution chance? What do you mean? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I have to restart the game now. And it's, it might fuck up again. Because of this shit. What if I alt enter? No. Alt enter does nothing. All right, you know what? Let's just live with it. It kind of, it kind of fits the mood, don't you think? It's like he's, he's, he's following the cursor. Open your inventory. fuck's sake for fuck's sake all right here we go now we're gonna launch it and we're gonna be finally able to play it's the fps is not gonna be is not gonna be gone it's not gonna be tanked and the cursor is not gonna be on the screen here we go we lost 400 people and they're just never coming back yikes all right it's working fine i can tell you need the 64 gig patch did you see that witcher 3 got a patch over the weekend and people were calling it the two gigabyte patch all right it's working we're good. All right, we st we're we good. Finally. 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 All right, what are we doing? This is where we came from, right? Is this the Western equivalent of Yakuza series? This this is a weeb game. This is not a Western game. Why aren't you turning around? Zombies in this game don't shuffle like this. Foreign people prefer plastic bottle soda. What do you mean? There's no way. How do you have that, that bad of a take? Great. Plastic bottle soda is so inferior to canned soda. It's not even close. All right, what's going on in here? I barely ever see glass bottles. Yeah, glass bottled soda is pretty rare. Why would I hide? 
Probably can hide here, but we still better stay still, Zach. All right, is the raincoat killer going to chase us through here in a second? Tell Twitch chat about you leaving 10% of the food. Take. Already did that. Yeah, and I agree with it. People, I think a lot of people have unhealthy food habits, and I think I had them for a long time too. You don't have to finish your food. You should definitely not pressure people to finish their food, especially kids. It teaches them bad habits. Great. Great. Oh. What happened there? Do you drink milk out of a bag or a carton? We have we have carton milk. We don't have uh, bag milk. I've had bad milk before. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. So what's too little to take home? I think there is there is a minimum amount of food that needs to be on the plate when you're done for it to warrant taking home. And if and if you were like taking home a little a little tiny little piece, you're weird. Bag milk. Yeah. Oh, you you don't know that about Canada. Canada has milk in bag. Not always. Like it's like you can get carton milk, but um, there are bags of milk that you put in a little like jug. You put the whole bag in the jug when you get home, and you cut a little bit off the um, off the top. You can Google it if you want. You'll see it. It actually tastes pretty good. It's in a lot of places. It's probably like in like Minnesota or whatever in the United States, right? Is there anywhere in Europe that has it? Don't slander us. It's not Minnesota. I I bet you it is in Minnesota. You mean Min Minnapapa, right? Because you guys don't call it soda. I've seen it here in the UK, but not commonly. Really? You've seen bagged milk in the UK? God damn. Wow, plus two. That was a plus two, wasn't it? I'm, I'm quite partial to that plus two myself. What do you about think of milk in cans? I've never had it, but it sounds gross. It sounds new, and as a human being, I don't like new new things and new experiences. So I'm going to say that it's bad, even though I've never partaken. I'll take a water, thanks. Am I going the right way? Remember, though, like, my hot take about milk. If you drink a glass of milk all by itself with without anything, like, to me, you're a, a, a psychotic person. Like, you need to be committed. Like, oh, I'm thirsty. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the fridge and just pour out a, a, a tall cool glass of milk and drink it without a cookie or a snack or a biscuit or anything like like that that's insane like actually insane even chocolate milk chocolate you're on the borderline there but i think drinking a glass of chocolate milk is more acceptable on its own than drinking just like just a regular glass of white milk awful take it's not awful take i'm just ahead of the curve joe doesn't want to go big and strong how how are you hearing what i just said and thinking i'm saying milk is bad that's not what i said i'm saying milk on its own as a drink, like, hey, I'm thirsty, time to just go have a glass of milk is just insanity. You know what? I go one step further. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm just gonna go into the fridge and just have like a little nibble of cheese. Also insanity. What are you doing? Most dairy, most, not all, most dairy things are not like, hey, you consume this and nothing else, you know, uh, food stuffs. No way. Now you've, what do you mean now I've lost? You're just gonna go eat some cheese. Cheese is, cheese is great. I love cheese. If I was left to my own devices, every single meal I, I would eat for the from now until the end of time would be a mix of meat, cheese, and bread, and that would be it. That's all. Like, that's all I need. And I'm happy. But eating cheese on its own is just like insanity. Now, if you go into the fridge and get some cheese and you eat it with your singular lone French fry that you kept from last night, all right. Now I'm on board because <laughs> baby, bell. even a baby bell. Who's going and eating just some cheese? Oh, we were talking about this last night too. And I don't know if I'm, if I'm weird or if a lot of people are going to have the same kind of taste, uh, take, maybe it's about, uh, I have the cilantro, uh, gene that makes the cilantro taste like soap to me. So maybe it's similar to that. Like any, anything that's like milk or cheese. If I eat that by itself or drink it by itself, it leaves like the weirdest fucking aftertaste in my mouth. And I hate it. Just drinking some milk on its own. Just like, what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> I have to have some water after I drink milk. Does Parmesan smell like vomit to you? Yes, and it smells like vomit to everyone because it smells uh -huh. like vomit. That's not a Joe special. Oh, the mirror. It's not, it is. Is, is the mirror gonna teleport us somewhere else? What What is this dungeon? Getting kind of some, some Zelda vibes. Actually, that actually sounds like you're allergic to dairy and just haven't known cause because it was minor. What do you mean I'm allergic to dairy? Cause, Cause milk has a weird aftertaste in my mouth afterwards. I need to wash it down with water. I'm allergic to dairy. What the hell's going on here? You got reverse peace sign. Oh, profiling time. Profiling. Oh, we got the last one first. That's interesting. Okay, so we're going to profile the first one and the last one. And we're going to profile the middle one, but skip. Okay, because these go on for a while. Stop buying shitty corporate milk. Canada's milk is some of the best milk in the world. Our milk quality is off the charts. People flying in to drink our milk. Thank you, Fancy Prince, for the resub. Thank you very much.
Your milk comes in bags. Look at these Americans, like, thinking that they're getting a dunk on when they've never partaken of the bagged milk. So they think it's weird when it's not. Sure, but you buying the expensive stuff? What expensive milk? I'm sorry, is there gourmet milk at the fucking store? Oh, the music. There, we mean there is. No, there's not. Milk is milk, Vesemir. Skimmed, half skimmed, full fat. If I'm to choose between mil one milk and another, I'd rather just have a soda or a water, thanks. Oh, that was it. We're done. Okay. Maybe if you drank American milk, you'd like it. Maybe. I don't know. I I I'm pretty sure I have had American milk at some point, and it was... I don't remember it. It just tasted like milk. I've been to America. What is it about the Parmesan cheese, like, d d uh, reality deniists that they don't understand? Like, they're all over the place. That was, I just messed the sentence up completely. I can't talk today. Like, Parmesan cheese really does smell like vomit, girl. Like, like, what the hell? It does. Like, scientifically verified. Google it. Oh, another gearbox. Let's fix an elevator. You got red seed. Profiling time? No, it's good. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying it smells like vomit. I eat Parmesan cheese on a salad. I'll, I'll do it. Maybe people who don't think that it smells like vomit have just never smelled vomit. I'm getting more sensitive to that as I get older. I used to have a pretty strong stomach, but like um, one of, one of the kids was uh, was vomiting uh, the other week, and as it as it was going on, like I'm I'm being a parent. I'm like I'm here for you. It's fine, and I, I like I I had to like muscle down like to join in. Like I was like holy shit. There was like a there was an instinctual response. I was like oh my god, what's going on? Like skill issue. I kind of feel it was a skill issue. Yeah. Like I I don't know. That's new. I, I it scared me a little bit. I was like what the fuck like. Why does Chat and Joe have to maul every five seconds? That's what the streams are! This is a feature, not a bug! Oh, we're back here again! Okay, cool. Alright, so now we have to go th through the other door and profile the other way? Okay. Oh, this is kind of like a nice little non-linear dungeon kind of thing. This is fun. Vomiting was always really scary for me as a kid. Yeah, it's scary for, for me too, even as an adult. I vomited for the first time, I think, um, last year or the year before, for the first time in like almost... 10 plus years and I hate it. I projectile vomit and it's really, really scary. Every single time I vomit, I feel like I'm gonna die. Like I really do not like doing, I know no one likes it. I know no one's like, oh, here I go, I'm so happy. But like, I really, really, really scares me. I think it feels kind of cathartic. Oh, you feel, it's it's a big amount of relief. You feel really, really happy about it, hap it being over afterwards. Yeah, for sure. But like before it happens, like I want to try everything in the world to prevent it from happening because I hate it so much. I got really scared. <laughs> Thank you, Player Bam, for the new sub. Welcome, Player Bam. Welcome to the Deadly Premonition Pals. Oh, it's it's this shit again. All right, let's hide. Wow, the frame rate is tanking again. Dude, all right, I'm gonna have to hold control to uh to hold my breath. Okay, I gotta say, um, I was speaking to to Sarath and Wuggy about this because Wuggy is very Deadly Premonition. I think Sarath is very Deadly Premonition pill too. Come to think of it, um. And I, 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 I gave them the take that I think the game is almost immune to criticism because it's so unique and special. It's like, who cares? But these sections with the raincoat killer make me question that take. These these parts are really fucking bad. Like, what what is the point of this? Even like ironic tension? Like, is it making fun of horror games? Because if it is, I can get on board. Why not? Sh I don't think you can fight him. Where are you hiding? The frame rate killer. <laughs> padding? This game doesn't need padding though. It's got so much shit in it. Nah, these are amazing. Really? It's the Dengen Rampa comic killer. All right, is he leaving? Oh, oh no! I heard the developers in Japan wanted to shoehorn in combat sections because they thought the day daytime stuff would be born for Western audiences. That's why it's so horrid. See, I hear these takes a lot. I don't think Western audience audiences are that impatient. And the excessive tutorialization of, of, of Eastern games versus the Western games, which also have tutorial problems, don't get me wrong, makes me question if this is just bullshit people just spout. I really, I don't think that's true. <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of time. They are, th they're not. We kind of, I don't think so. I think this is just like, people want to want to hate on the West a little bit. The killer is me when I can't find my phone in the morning. How do you lose your phone, bruv? Maybe this is being conflated from, oh, oh, Western audiences don't tolerate like what people in chat are saying right now. Uh, 50 hours until the game gets good. Therefore, we the, the reason not much, it's not like st bad story pacing. It's that we don't have enough shooty shooty bang bang parts. Put the shooty shooty bang part parts in. Like, no vaulting. We could vault it something earlier, I remember, but I don't know if we can vault this. Bullseye. 
we can push it, but that's it. It's low-key racism on the Japanese side, but do you but you do know about the Kirby Kirby cover stuff, yes? Um I don't know if that's true or not. What Kirby cover stuff? Crackers. Did I tell you all that Fire Emblem Three Houses got here and the boys recognized it as a Switch game. I know I said this to Jads. Did I say it on stream? Fire Emblem Three Houses got here, and like I took it out of the the delivery box, and the and the boys saw it, and they're like, "Oh, it's a new Switch game." And I'm like, "Yeah," and I showed it to them, and I'm like, "I got this for work, but I'm not going to play it for a while." Do you guys want to play it? And they both looked at it and said, "No." <laughs> they really did. Oh no, not again! All right, is it going to be E R or F? Run! can't believe they're making me do this again. Can't wait to count out your coin. He just clipped through the through the, through the the door there. What is this slow ass climbing animation? All right, what if I just stand here? What's gonna happen? Okay, climb down. Oh, E to climb down. Oh, he's waiting. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's waiting. He knew we were coming. Uh oh. Um. Cool. You know what else got here, chat? Another game got here that I bought because I didn't think they were selling them anymore and apparently it was a lot cheaper than it should have been to get this game new, even though I have my doubts it is new, but I haven't opened it yet, so maybe it is new. I have in my possession a copy of the PlayStation 3 game, Drakengard 3, because I knew at one point you weebs were gonna vote to make me play it. So I have Drakengard 3. It's shit, of course it's shit, it's a weeb game. What's that? I think it's like a prequel to Nier Automata, isn't it? That game runs at 18 frames per second. Nice. No, it's not. Isn't it set in the same world? No, it's not. They're not related at all. What? I get it then. Again, yes. Okay. All right. Chat's being coy. Bloody camisole. I enjoy a camisole. Guys, this is a classic Joe bait. Don't buy. It's not though. I really do have it. Okay. Start the profile. Uh-oh. So is Becky really dead? Who the hell is that? That is a large person. Have we met that person yet? Who is that large in town? It's the same person that was in the, the lumber mill um, hmm? profiling. I still don't understand if we actually are fighting the raincoat killer in here or if this is just all like a representation of what's going on in York's mind as he's going through here. And we're back. It's bad. Very bad, Zack. Oh, new music. The raincoat killer gave Becky a visit. Hold on. You just go cross-eyed? What the hell was that? Practicing your hoagie, bruv? What, what was that? Is that the shower or is it raining outside? Can you hear that? Oh, oh. It rain? No, it's not rain. No, it's the shower. Yeah. Zach, the bathroom, quick. But a bit of bomb, but a bit of bomb, bomb. Open it. Anu is rubbing off on you, Joe. I didn't get love from Anu. What are we talking about? Looks like she rarely left this room. She used to take her meals here, even. A photo of Becky and someone else. The person next to her. The person next to her has been blotted out as if in anger. Really? I don't. I don't see that anywhere. It's locked. Need a key to open it. All right, let's go find it in the shower. Julie Mao. No mansion would be without its hidden vault. This one is covered with a wood grain pattern. We need a key here, Zach. All right, do I get the key to open the door? Like, we can clearly open this door. Looks like he broke through here. All right, and then locked it after- What do you mean? All right, am I leaving through the blood? Oh, I thought that's the door we came in. Oh, what the hell is this shit? Wait, how did we get in the room? The music. What in the Hannibal is this? Oh 
She hasn't been dead for long. Yes, let's just smoke up now. Immediately go to smoking. <laughs> oh my god, she's still alive. Zack, she's still alive. Who did this? Who was it, Becky? Help her down first, you monster. Becky! What happened here? George, stay back. She's trying to speak. We don't have time. She's dying. Thomas, cut that wire. No, we no, no, no don't cut it. No, 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 don't do it. No, it's going to, what are you doing? It's going to rip her apart. No. What are you doing? Get out of the way. I'll do it. No. no don't. George, stop. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be bad. Wait, wait, what? Where the hell did they come from? Wait, what even is that? Well, this just got a hell of a lot weirder. All right. <gasps> She's still alive. Huh? Oh, we grew a beard mid-scene. <laughs> what the... <laughs> What's going on? What's happening? And they were roommates. George, you killed her. What the fuck, George? Yep. He got us good this time. <laughs> yeah, he got us good. Wait, what the fuck happens? Why is it like that? Why is the why? It's a sheet. It's a color blocking sheet. She must have been terrified, a horrendous ordeal. We were too late to save her. What do you mean we weren't? We weren't. You should have stopped. Clearly this was rigged in some way. I thought she was gonna get torn apart, not with scarves that it would appear out of the sea. I don't, I don't even understand what just happened. Was that, are the scarves her, her blood and it's just artistic and that's not, she wasn't like strangled by supernatural scarves? Like what, what even was that? I'm confused. I'm interested, but I'm confused. What the hell's that? Correcchio is behind this, I'm sure of it. As a wooden key holder on it. I think I saw a similar pattern in her room. Okay, th let's talk to George first. Oh, wait, hold on. Toilet paper. Thomas threw up in there earlier. We don't want to look inside, do we, Zach? We do. Oh. Why is the mirror broken? What? What a hell? <laughs> even Becky has been killed. What do you mean, even Becky? Especially Becky. Oh, it's broken, so there's no. Th there aren't two mirrors in uh, aligned with each other. You're very smart. Key for the safe. How did she, how did she lose this much blood, but she was still alive? Actually, I learned in school, they had a, they had a really good demonstration in a, in a video of, they didn't, I don't think they used um, real blood. It might've been animal blood, but I think it might've just been a little bit of, uh, a little bit of paint like mix the same consistency of blood and they um they poured um a, a tiny amount of blood over a white t-shirt to show you like how much that looks when it's actually not that much blood at all to like when you when you think oh my god someone's lost so much blood it's hopeless like no it's they, they might not actually be that bad off and it's always good to still like rush take it seriously you know what i mean i thought that was interesting becky 
That's Moncton school for you. What the fuck? I didn't go to school in Moncton. I wasn't born here. Oh, 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 okay. Well done. Well done. Oh, minus two. Oh, I'm mad. Holy shit, you got me. He got it. Chat got us this time, chat. Holy fuck. Jimmy jostled. Holy fuck, I'm rumbled. How did we get in here? Okay, is this... This is us saying, no, we can't leave yet? I thought this was a... Uh, it's locked. All right. Didn't we spawn right here? I don't understand this, this scene. Whatever, who cares? Let's just move on. What about your kids? Are you gonna be monked in for- I'm, I'm working right now, motherfucker! What do you think I'm trying to do? Get the hell out of here! Speaking of, thank you Charade31 for the new sub. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Deadly Premonition Pals. What are we doing? Oh my god, it's a pencil. Uh my dear sister. Oh, alright. I'm so, so sorry. I was a fool to fall for a man like him. I don't have the words to apologize to Anna. I left her there. She was suffering so much. I hope he and reads I over it the whole time. Ran oh. away. He didn't. Never mind. I know he wanted to kill me too, but I'm not going to let him get away with this. Okay. Say who it is, please. I followed him after he was. Finished. Say who it is. He carried Anna into the woods. Anna was holding on to that precious locket of his. He couldn't remove it from her hand, even though she was dead. But she let go of it for me, though. It was like she gave it to me. So I brought it home. I might be able to bring Anna's killer down with it. I want you to see it. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. He'll catch me, though, if I go into town. I'm trapped in my house. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. They totally believe that Anna became a Oh, goddess. that's why... I believe so, too. I took my kids to her house, and she, she took them in and so kept me outside. Alright, it's kind of weird. As though she might smile back at any moment. Rachel Amber. I have something else to confess to you. I borrowed a pair of your shoes without asking and broke the heel on one of them. I'll send them along with the locket. I'm sure the shoe can be fixed. So this is to Diane. So Becky is Miss Stiletto Heel. <gasps> and she gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zach. Yeah. We'd better go and see her first thing tomorrow. But first, let's go to the diner. Center Emily, sandwich. who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? That would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? I should have known, Zach. We're all family here. <laughs> oh no, we gave the locket to the dog and the dog ate it. Time to track down the dog. Dog chasing a minigame? Do you have a, a picture of the dog on your butt there, bro? Like, what are you doing? FK. Uh. <laughs> I was throwing up. This is such a weird game. Why? That was a choice. You had to choose to put that there. Why would you do that? Zach View. <gasps> Previously during the investigation. I'm Kason. Forest Kason. <laughs> Thomas, did you see Nick here? I, 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 no. I, I, when I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. No! It could be! Nick? Oh, please, no! Nick? He got us good this time, Zach. <laughs> he got us good this time, Zach! Oh, I can't believe it, man. Now that's heavy. Me neither. Heavy. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. What day was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, that's right. She was she was totally depressed about something. How long has it been? Quint called for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hun. If only hun? I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? 
Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Where are the boys now? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. They mentioned going to the community center today, Han. Han? There is plenty of space to run around over there. Kaysen, do you know him well? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. Road the kids trips. love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. You know, for a little quality time with the missus. <laughs> oh, God, you okay, two are together? I understand, but the situation calls for urgency. I'll go and look for them myself. And if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. Wait. Where is it? Where? Who the hell are you? Sally Graham, Anna's mother. Okay. Where could it be? Lost the contact? Her dress. Oh, Sally. Sally? Anna's mother? She's acting up again. She's been like that ever since she heard the news. What exactly is she doing? <sighs> Got no idea. But I guess she's in like, you know, shock or something. The way exactly. I look at it, her daughter's death hasn't really sunk in the right way. Totally, man. I feel sorry for her. Come on, let's go. Lily, have you seen Anna's dress, dear? I can't find it anywhere. Zach, the wheels are turning. Not in the right way. You feel it too? I do actually. Does he get a new face scar every case? I'm really surprised it skipped this over, like having to drive back to the hotel and go to sleep ourselves. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. With Kaysen? Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? Lily told me where they went. No problem. Episode 2, Part 2. 11 lost child let's find isaac and isaiah and talk to them okay are we driving together because like i want to go explore i need to go and get the radio from george still is george there <gasps> free lunch let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go and today we're stuck here having to search for lost children they're not lost we're the ones who are lost what and so we are emily smile zach we may as well have fun if we're getting lost you sure know how to take your time in a time like this. You don't know half of this. It's gonna be three days until we find them. Carol! Where are we going, Carol? Who's Carol again? I don't remember who Carol is. Does Carol know how to drive? Thomas's sister. Oh, the one who owns the bar and has like a has a um, bad uh, customer that comes in that we need to deal with. Okay. Can I put a uh, a marker on the the map? Who's that? Man, we have well, there's so many people we haven't spoken to. All right, if we keep going straight, eventually we will get to the free lunch. Yeah. I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town, and now two young children are at the center of it all. I, I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people, and that's why we have our jobs. It might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that I knew that were killed, and the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. Might be. It's really depressing. I know, but someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right, I know, but... Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. You can be emotional at times, but you also what? possess what's most important. I do. Know her. What do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? Justice. <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised obvious to hear or such not, a... I joined the FBI in order to I do what's this? right. <laughs> such an and obvious answer. I understand, but <laughs> still, you seem... <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about justice. Zach, she's quite the philosopher, isn't she? Then again, death makes everyone a philosopher. True. True. Thank you, June Okami, for the resub. Is there Thank something you, you want to check out? Uh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. I can see you won't be rushed. I'm going to go ahead, okay? All right, see you later. Okay, that would be fine. Then I'll head over to the place that Lily mentioned. Don't take too long before you catch up, okay? All right, see you tomorrow. Eventually, the kids are going to have to go home, right? So, 
The time limit is so weird. I feel like you could just shatter your sense of immersion if you tried hard enough in this game. But it, it's almost like it's so self-aware, it doesn't really matter. Let's save it. Free lunch? Free, free lunch? Wait, did you guys start eating without me? <gasps> Agent York, do you want lunch? I wish I could help more, but I think lunch is a good place to start. Yes, please. Good, I'll get something ready. Oh, Emily's here after all. <coughs> Man, if anything's wrong with it, you send it back right away. <laughs> Thomas, I asked for three th things of onion. There's only two. Send it back. And don't put another one on there. You Remake know, it. This doesn't taste good today. That's not true. Guys, Thomas made us a fine lunch as always. As always. We should at least try to enjoy it. They know. You're right. We, we shouldn't be moping around, even more so in times like these. I agree with Agent Morgan. Being so stressed out about our progress will only lead to mistakes. We should enjoy lunch. That's the very least we should do. As they say, the uh, early bird catches the worm. What? Sh sh Sheriff? What? What is that? What? What? George. You probably mean laugh and grow fat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 equals cack. What's going on? I'm confused. Yes. Well. What? Okay. Since we're all smiling again, let's get back to work. <laughs> you know what? We all had a good time today. Okay. So, so York didn't sleep. So. Here I was thinking that the game just automatically sent us back to the hotel, he had a good night's sleep, and then he went here. Instead, no, he didn't sleep. It just fast-forwarded us through this and, and put us here. Don't open. Why not? Why not? Why can't I open the store? Okay, where is... Where's George for the quest? Because I want to do George's quest. Wait, it's not catches the worm? The, the early bird gets the worm, right? But the second mouse gets the cheese. I, I, th I think it was more of a, it's not applicable to what they were talking about, not that he got the saying wrong. I just, I don't, I don't understand the bit. Okay, so, at home after 9 o'clock. Yeah, that, that has to be it. I remember that now. So, we have to do other shit before then. So, is there any other side quest that's worth doing? People that know this game? Suspect. Quint. Su they're just people, oh, is that people we've never met before over there? No, comma, side quests are worth doing. Oh, they're all worth doing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Oh. Okay, so it's to the right. Who's this? This is Quint Dunn. Quint. What the f- <laughs> What the fuck? Hold <laughs> Quint, is it possible to learn this power? So, Zach, this case turned into a multiple homicide. What kind of motives turn a criminal into a oh, serial shit. killer? Is it hedonistic? Ritualistic? Copycat crime? Sex-related? Quint, where are you going? From the Bureau's oh. statistics. <laughs> These interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. They're just words, phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. The spotlight falls on a mere 1% of all cases, only the weird ones. You understand all this, right, Zach? No matter how bizarre a crime may appear to be, at the root, there is always rage and personal interest. Right, Zach? Most people simply don't kill for pleasure, but that kind of common sense Never applies to our investigations. Maybe we're lucky or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. We end up working on those cases in that 1%. Do you remember, Zach? The first case we handled just after becoming a special agent? Last week? Now let's talk about this another time. I don't feel like it right now. Different recordings there. What the hell? All right. Let's go talk to Quint, because I want to know what's going on. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? According to Lily, the twins should be with Kaysen. What the f- how did we Perhaps get- Perhaps we should try going to where she told us they might be. How did we get here? Why are there bullets in in the mailbox? Oh, we knock instead of just going in. That's in Oh, then we just go in. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Does everyone have their own house? This insane, insane game. Sally? I'd like to ask you some questions about Anna. Anna? Oh, why did she have to die? She was so happy, so full of life. Anna, she loved that dress in the picture so much. Green void outside? Yeah, she what is that? She so pretty in it, What's but the now, green? she won't be able to wear it again. Yes, that dress. I can't find that dress anywhere. That dress? Her dress. Where is it? 
<laughs> Without it, I... She looked so pretty when she wore her bra. She was the prettiest girl in town that night. So why did she... Where's that dress? Where? <laughs> I don't think we'll get much more out of her like this. Maybe if we find the dress and bring it to her, she'll calm down enough to talk. Yep, that's the sound effect we want to play when we're finding the dress of the for the victim of the victim's mother. All right, I don't have to hit view list for the quest to become active, right? It just is. All right, what what is going on outside, man? Can I go out into it? Whoa! Oh. All right, I'm not peeking through the window. Oh, <gasps> yes. All right, where's where did Quint go? Quint, Quint just came in and then went upstairs, or what? Man, this is, like, still faster than Witcher 1 loading, but it's rough. All right, is this going to take me outside? Looks like the door wasn't locked. All right, let's 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 look around inside here before we open that door, because I don't know if that's the garage or... All right, that's not going to take us outside. All right, that's Sally. That's going to take us outside, I think. Quint came in here, right? Rude. Rude awakenings. Oh. Okay. I'm starting to think Quint just vanished as soon as he came in here. Imagine not having an SSD so game load faster. I, I do have an SSD. It's installed on an SSD. Look, Zach, it's a picture taken during her prom night. All right, now we're going to see the no dress. There are other pictures of Anna in a dress. This blue dress here, then, must be the one Sally is looking for. She does look like a goddess. Sally was right. She sure is pretty. That smile would make any man turn to butter. What? Uh, what? <gasps> it's locked and you need to open it. Oh, shit. Well, how do I get, how do I get the card? Okay, Quint vanished. Quint just, he just, oh shit, he's here. Oh, Quint, 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 what are you doing, Quint? A typical modern day youngster, I'd say. Okay, really? Hey, Quint, what, 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 are we, what are we doing, bro? No, I didn't want, hot dog, nice. Making a sandwich, huh? All right, gonna put it in the microwave? Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. Hmm. I'm thinking, man, just leave me alone. All right, looking good, York. Okay, how do I find a dress? Is it going to be in the hoose or is it going to be someone borrowed it from her or she left it somewhere? Do I have to find a key to do something or, or what? Is the quest log going to help me? Let's see. Anna's mother Sally is searching for Anna's dress. Find the dress somewhere in Anna's house and give it to Sally. Oh, it's it's in it's in Anna's house. Okay. Anna moved out. So Anna has her own house. Anna didn't live here. How do I get out, out of this map screen? I want to go to the big map. I want to go to the big boy map. I have to be on the big boy map to see the big boy map. Okay. No, she lived with Sally, but it said Anna's house. Hold on, can we get more information? Anna, why did you have to die? Just a few days ago, you were having so much fun wearing that dress. Okay, info gathering bonus. I didn't think Anna was that, that old. I'm thinking, man, just leave me alone. Okay, okay so I, I think I have to find a key to get into that room. Where am I finding this key? Do I have to shoot something? Okay, I I've, I've think I've looked everywhere down here. Did I miss something somewhere in this room? Ooh, what's this? This looks like a secret door. Let's shoot it. Let's hit it with a pipe. No. Oh, we found it. All right, we did it. Zach, this is it. This is the same dress as the one in the prom picture. That was easy. Let's take it to Sally. Well, that was easy. Did you find a dress? Oh, yeah, the human <gasps> bone. This is, this is it. The dress. This is Anna's dress. Ha. Ha, Anna. Oh, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> We found the dress, so please tell me more about Anna. Oh, she was such a good girl. She was the most beautiful girl in town, with pretty blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Everyone around her just loved her. On yep. the night of the murder, was Anna at home? Yes, I, I think so. You think so? Uh, that day, the day she died, I stayed over at a friend's place. Wow, what a bad parent. If only I'd been here, Anna might not have gone through... Where did you stay that night? Uh, w w uh, I was... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh. So, in other words, you have no idea what Anna was up to that night. That's wrong. That no, that's she wrong. Wasn't the kind of girl that would walk around at night. She was always dancing, dancing under the sun. Yes, under the pouring sunshine, like this. Uh, Merrick, did you take it back? Zach, look. What <laughs> expected York to start Anna's jamming dress. there? I Maybe thought he was to start to dancing. Room. Sorry, Sally, but we're going to have to take a look in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Where's the dress? Do, do, do. Quint, are you like also 
like you had Quint and and Rachel, or like are you just here for a hot dog? Anna. My sweet baby, you're everything to me. Please, Anna, smile for me. Hmm. Hey, bro, Anna's not here to eat this anymore. I thought I'd come over and help myself before food expires. It's not fruit, so someone has to eat it. What the hell noise was that? What? Who just has a big portrait of themselves on a dra Who does that? Oh. Okay. This isn't sus. Anna's dress. That's a card. How short was she? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 She was at an age that craves excitement. Doesn't matter what town you're from, girls will be girls. Dude, smoke one up. You know, Zach. In this wonderful country of ours, there are no good old-fashioned towns left. None at all. Man who has been to one town. Day one. It was lots of Today fun. Today is the day of the ceremony, and I'm a little nervous about it. Day two. Oh, uh, is there a cult? The first time he used it on me, it was so amazing. So exhilarating. Yeah, day three. All right, cool. He doesn't let anything slip. I'm really worried about Becky. Day, day four. four. Things aren't going so well at the cult. Delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. So that's the last page written. It's very interesting. You can learn a lot from a diary. So we have this unnamed he, Becky, and this delivery man, Q. Is Zachary talking now? Zach, this could be more interesting than I thought. Huh. All right. Huh. Huh. Q, huh? Is Q downstairs eating a hot dog? Q. Open it. We already did. We already opened it. Who has a picture of themselves? <laughs> what? Who does this? Huh. Okay. So she was into some shit. All right. Not too clean. I must say, though, I can hardly blame her. What? This, this is a huge, like, dirt line. Oh, should we shave? Should we shave in the victim's bathroom, chat? Hmm. Not bad. Anna's gonna come up here later, and there's gonna just be like a huge mess that we should do shaves. No? Oh, you all like him with the beard, huh? I approve, actually. I approve of a beard. As a bearded uh, person myself, I agree. I wanna see how big the beard can get. I think, I think this is it. I don't think it's getting any more than this. I think we've capped out the beard. Have you never met people who have their own picture as, as a phone wallpaper? No, never. Is that a thing people do? Lily has pictures of the kids as her wallpaper, and I have pictures of the dogs. That's so weird. Sadly, they're- what? Okay, like, I can understand maybe, like, an action pose or a good memory. Like, they went on vacation and they're standing over a cliff at the beach. Look, here I am. Like, like a good memory every time I look at it. But just, like, a normal ass, hey, here's a selfie of me on the phone. That's- that's insane. I guess if you were, like, in a place where you- you regularly have to, like, put your phone down in a group of other people's phones, because you're not allowed to take phones with you, that would be an easy way to identify, oh, this phone's mine. But at the same time, like, how common is that now? Nowadays. How is that weird? What the fuck y'all say? What do you mean? How is it? How is that not weird? Who puts a picture of themselves on their phone like that? I frame a singular French fry. Yeah, that's it. Add another one to my collection. Desktop backgrounds. Your desktop background is a picture of yourself. What? Modern day teens would love this design. Must be Quint's ride. Do 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 do. Should we have spoken to Quint? Oh, he does have powers. That's why he was floating outside the car. Ooh, it's all connected. It's all connected. Why are you breathing so loud? Okay, Northern Lion Watcher, you can go fuck yourself, okay? I'm not falling for this tech. Mm-hmm. How's it going, Wiggy? Where, where is the suspect that we didn't talk to? Okay, do we want to go and do the main quest, and then it'll probably cycle to evening, and then we can go to talk to George? Or do we want to go and talk to someone, like, in town? Is there a really good side quest in town? I feel like the one we just did is one of the best ones to get, actually. Roaming Sigourney. Apparently, she has a quest. Go to the gas station. The gas station's over here, isn't it? No, nope, it's not. That's the end of the map. Okay, where's the gas station? I feel like the gas station was here somewhere. That's the gas station. Heaven and Hell gas station with rosy lips Gina. Oh, I know why you all want me to go there. And I'm completely on board. Yeah, best girl. Okay, let's, let's turn around and take the first left. Also, we can see if we can fill up on gas while we're there. How many years ago was it now? That multiple homicide of young girls in that college town in Illinois. All the victims were cut open from the throat to the crotch. Ripped right open. Yeah. During the autopsy, a second stomach was found inside the first victim's body. 
course, she didn't naturally grow a second stomach. Yeah, some people do. Some people will just do that to finish their food. to someone else. As more victims piled up, there was one with two hearts, one with two livers. Oh, the double organ killer. Four lungs. Different organs each time. Of course, those extra organs didn't do the girls much good. Right, Zach? And they say too much is never enough. In the end, we arrested a professor at the med school. They found the body of his daughter dead and the missing organs at his house. Do you remember what he said when we took him in? I was ordered to restore those deformed bodies back to normal. And remember who he said ordered him? God. An alien. Oh. Well, of course, we couldn't arrest an alien, so we arrested the professor instead. Serial killers can't be caught by logic and common sense. I learned this the hard way. That first case taught me that. Since then, these cases just keep getting more and more complicated. It's a tough job. I mean, at this point, I'm getting actually experience while I was young would make the job easier. Experience with what? Are we done? Okay. What is this walk? Uh huh. Hey there. Fill her up. More and more people getting killed. This is turning into one dangerous town. Uh, I, I can't talk and fill her up. I want to fill her up. Come back and then put gas in my car. Lamayo got him. All right, let's back up. Now let's go out again. Oh, what the hell? Mm. Huh, you want info? Then bring me a Ben Franklin or two. What? Oh, okay. Yes! All right. Uh-huh. Hey there, fill her up. Let me know if you want me to pump it. Getting the car washed. I want five a gallon. Can't believe how expensive gasoline has become. All right. I would also like you to wash the car. Can you do both, please? All right, also wash the car. No. Yep, that's all it needed. Just a little bit of dirt right there. Yep. Is she breathing on it? All done, Miaster. At the car wash. Do -do 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 -do. Come again. Why why do we need to see this? Surprisingly not dirty. What 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 are your standards? What? What? Anyway, um we're overdue for break. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm also gonna have a Kit Kat. So, you know, if you also wanna eat the same thing that I do, go have a Kit Kat. I'll be right back. Kit Kat is a C tier candy bar. I agree, but it's what we have. Joe is eating one Kit Kat bar, then feels satisfied, throws away the rest. Actually, they're, they're Kit Kat minis and they're in a big bag. So you can eat what you want and then just close the bag up again and you're fine. And I can't have one without all the kids eating one too. They melted though, unfortunately. Unmelt them. Finn said that. Why can't we put it in the fridge and unmelt them? And I said, like, that'll only like just seal in what they look like right now. Every time there's a dog, there's a... Uh... There's bones, right? Okay, so if you hit hit a bar, uh, thing, it's not gonna explode, right? Yeah, it has to be like a, a bullet to, to make it blast open. Okay, makes sense. Bones are their money. <laughs> Luggy, did you see the uh, the promotion where they, they showed a skit about, um, the show's called I Think You Should Leave, right? Did you see the one where it was about the, the horse ranch where like couples can go horses, uh, horse back riding, and the ranch has specifically bred horses with, with small genitalia? So the, so the, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the husbands that take their wives there get to feel good about themselves. <laughs> you got genius. <laughs> They look open, we might need to come by a car from the notices. Oh, that's it. This is oh, I can't talk to anyone here. Okay. We're all trying to find the one who did this. They're telling me that there's no way that there's this amount of people dropping out of coffins on the way to getting buried in the cemetery and they're all happening to not be wearing any, wear any clothes. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just setting up cameras and filming it and it just keeps happening. <laughs> How, how expensive was that skit, man? They had so many clips of them, of them dropping out of the coffin. Like, it's like so many fake funerals they had to set up for these, like, two-second clips strung back-to-back. -back. Like, it had to be, like, what, like, at least 30? Holy shit, how expensive was that skit? Oh, man. All right, where are we going? 
haven't rigged shit. <laughs> Should we go to the milk barn? Let's go to the milk barn where milk is delicious. <gasps> oh, oh, I, I need to talk, talk, talk. No, no, oh, we missed it forever. Are you a milk enjoyer? Tell me you haven't been here for the whole stream without telling me you haven't been here for the whole stream. Technically, I'm drinking a little bit of milk right now because I'm having a tea. Milk and tea? Yeah, a little bit of milk and tea. What, 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 man? what show is that? I think you should leave. It's a Netflix thing. Oh, we're back here again. Hey, Richard. <laughs> Sally lost her daughter and now she, Quint lost his girl. Which do you think has it worse? They're both pretty bad. Actually, I think he has it the worst. Having to support both Sally and Quint. What do you think, Zach? What? So Quint... Quint was dating Becky, and he and and Becky's dead. So now he just went up for a hot. Wait, was was Quint the one we found at the scene, and he was crying outside? And then the next time we see him, he's microwaving a hot dog. No relation to the case, I'd figure. There aren't suspects. Let's go, Zach. What the hell is this? USB serial. Oh, I get it. USB serial port. Okay, very funny. F fucking minus two. All right, I get it. I get it. They should be at the community center today. They like to play the big square there. They're waiting for you, York, at the community center. Do you have any white cloth? <gasps> Great vegetables. How to raise vegetables to be able to 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 be able to easily make. They don't have that many vegetables, but they're fresh, all right. I just spotted a caterpillar on one of them. This was another like like I got I got a lot of shit catching strays in the fucking chat all night last night from my food takes. Like I said, someone was like, "So you're telling me that if your food came out and there was like a bug in it, that you're not gonna send it back?" And I was like, "Motherfucker, I'm leaving. I'm not like, what am I gonna do? Get send it back and get more food with bugs in it? Like, no, I'm I'm." rolling the rim up out of there like why would i want a place like that has like a huge bug in my food like if it was a fly or a tiny little like fruit fly or whatever depending on where it landed i might just not eat that part of the food but if it's like like i pick up the burger and a huge cockroach falls out all right thank you very much i'm leaving the establishment like who else is like who's doing otherwise i don't understand hey keith hey bro york the kids are out with casing again man they don't listen to me even if i tell them to come home you know you yeah, now now I finally understand how hard my folks had it. I can tell you. Yep, you're just like yeah, so hard. Yep, so hard. Milk barn. Would you ask for a refund? I wouldn't expect to be charged if that was the case. But if they if they still expected me to pay, I would probably pay just to avoid causing a scene. If I was hard up for money, then I wouldn't exp I I would probably cause a scene at that point. Most British take. I think a lot a lot of my life in revolves around trying not to make a scene. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Is that a British thing? Dragons then called me a bottom, and I have never been more offended in my entire life. I should go to bed soon. All right, where are we going? The junkyard, someone said. Where's the junkyard? Is that is that Sweary 65? What's what's the junkyard? Oh, the junkyard is where the um the general is. Emily's at White Spruce Farm. That's not where we have to go though, isn't it? What's Emily doing at White Spruce White, White Spruce Farm? Let's go there. There was another really bad one around this time of year, three years ago. Remember, Zach? Oh, I remember. Yes, that's right. That one. Multiple homicide, same MO, across Utah, Colorado, and Missouri. The victims were all average married housewives. But after being run over so many times by a car, they didn't look human. What? Five victims in two months in the three states. The way he killed them was always the same. But aside from that, there was nothing that linked the victims together. Well, they, they were all married. But age, race, Nothing else matched up. Tire marks and fragments of paint ID'd the car that was used. That's where things got really tricky. The perpetrator used a 1993 model Cadillac Alante as a weapon. It was registered in the name of one senator... No. I don't feel like talking about this anymore. That senator's basement. I wish I could forget what I saw there. Oh, so he's done a lot of cases then, huh? Or he's just RPing as an agent. Here's all the things that I've done. When there's nowhere else to... Is that on my face? Yeah, me. <laughs> no, oh, cause shit, that's way dirtier than I thought it was gonna be. No, I meant like coming in for a kid. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm just making it worse. Let's just move on. Shit. Shit. All right, can we go down here? Is it, is it in here? Do I have to do a race to get it? Big Metal Gear vibes. Chat, how can I be a bottom? When I laugh at something, I just do a, a veil or plus two or sensible chuckle. I don't put three of my fingers on the right side of, side of the keyboard and just mash three keys over and over and over and then hit enter when I think I've filled up the line enough. Come on. 
How do I get? How do I, is it down there? It's got to be down there, right? Huh? Can I shoot it? No. Is there like a a bird's nest somewhere that I need to shoot? Bottoms can be very vocal. I mean, if they're if they're good ones, yeah. Chat, can I do this right now or no? Is that a horse? Do I have to hide in the dumpster for a bit and then something will happen? Shoot the dog. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. For some reason, it just kind of struck me here. I'm like, I'm reminded of Hyrule Field in Ocarina of Time. This game feels so much older than it is. All right, Emily, are you just hanging out here, man? Like, what are we doing, love? Come back when it rains. All right. Okay, where to now, chat? Someone said the scrapyard. His stamina is going up in the dumpster. Yeah, have you ever have you ever tried to like maintain a crouch for a long time? Like, it, it hurts, man. Roman Sigourney. Okay, isn't this the hotel? All right, let's go see Roman Sigourney. People, people have been saying that. Let's focus on the case at hand. All right. The murders with the red seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide... Boston. I've been unable to get them out of my head. I've even gone through all of the files looking for similar cases. And we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls, and they were killed in eight different states. They arrested all seven murderers, but there was no connection between them. However... We must not overlook, there was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the Red Seeds. And I have a hunch this case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? That looks nice. Well, let's just do what we can do and do our best. And by doing our best, I'm sure we'll get to where we need to go. Are you aware of the game's Japanese title? Is it something like really obscure about movies instead of being Deadly Premonition because I thought Deadly Premonition would appeal more to a to a, a Western audience? They're not going to understand the, the, the reference or think it's too boring. Red Seeds profile, that's much better than Deadly Premonition. Okay, why why can I not see her on the mini map? It's so weird. Is Sigourney the pot lady? I disagree. Really? You Zach, think the... there's something here that you want to check out? According to Lily, the twins should be with Kaysen. Perhaps we should try going to where she told us they might be. Deadly Premonition's better. Original title in 20, 2007 was Rainy Woods. Rainy Woods is pretty good too. Big Dark Souls vibes. Hey Sigourney. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Could you explain what you're talking about? What are you rambling on about? My pot's getting cold as we speak. Hurry, hurry. Zach, I guess we're going to have to drive her home. But I wonder what happens when her pot gets cold. She dies. Cold pot one. Great. So we have to do this three times. All right. Sigourney often wanders the town when the weather is nice. Having been told that her pot is getting cold, you now have to take her home. Driving safely may not cut it this time. What do you mean? Is it a time limit before the pot gets cold? Now, do 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 My house is over by the lake. We're at, we're at the lake. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. Amazing. All right. Amazing. This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. Oh, no. Wait, my pot is going to get cold. Hurry. Hurry. Step on it. Why do you have to drive so safely? Can't you see my pot is getting cold? She Why aren't like a we witch. there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. I can't go any faster. Wait, she lives here? There yet. Could you she lives on? here? We go this my pot is going to get cold. Oh. Do, 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 I'm glad do, you do, 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 the curse Here's of Greenvale, gonna catch if a killer, but Zach is gonna hell. There we go. I did my song. Too much like there NLs. Fuck you all. But more than one is always visible. Like cooking a stew. 
mix things in and wait for it to boil together. Just make sure it doesn't get burnt. And keep an eye on it. You have to gently mix it sometimes and wait until it's ready. Listen carefully. The best stew is a stew that is boiled slow. This is very true, actually. I. Oh my! Car jump my scare. My heart is getting cold again. Did you have to talk so long? Oh. Shoe. Shoe. Oh, what's going on over there? This is a fancy part of town. Holy, holy crap. I almost said holy damn. And for some reason, I didn't want to say holy damn. But maybe I do. Okay, I think we're going to go do the quest. Unless I can find the, uh... Observe the shoe. <sighs> Someone left a shoe here. Very strange, Zach. Someone left a shoe here. A left shoe here. They've only got one shoe. <laughs> Someone's dog is barking. Not both of them. Because they still have one shoe. Do, 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 do. Alright, where's the the scrapyard? Milk barn. We've already been to the milk barn. Is this the scrapyard? Okay, there's the scrapyard. Alright, we're going to the scrapyard and then we're done. Alright, we're going there and then we're going to do the main quest. And then hopefully at that point it's late enough in the day. Or do you, do you guys actually want me to smoke outside George's house, get that and do it the next day? Or can we even do it the next day? All right, so we're going straight. We're just following this road until we cannot go anywhere but left. Smoke? Really? It's that worth it? You should 100% the game. I am not 100% in the game. Are we? Are we 100% in the game? 13 centils in March. Hey, at this point, you'll be lucky if you get 13 centils in April, okay? Do 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 one hundred percent for me, Joe. What does that sound dirty, man? Oh, what the hell is this? We could totally get trolley chain in there. Ooh, there are two cards here. Is this a maze? Stupid gun. Okay, this looks like it might be something to do with a quest later, but there's nothing here right now. Let's still do it though. Joe's being horny feels like a closet bottom faking it in front of straight friends. What, what the fuck? Okay, so I'm just being diagnosed as as ADHD, bottomness, what else? Deranged food take, milk hater. Like, what the hell, man? Also, narc. How am I a narc? Where are you getting narc from? You filthy Kit Kat eater? Well, that's just true. I did have a Kit Kat. Yeah, I'm not going to deny reality. I'm not proud of it. Oh, narcolepti- oh, okay, I get it. Alright, man. Alright, minus two. I once told someone in college, well, university, sorry, and, uh, you know, I was narcoleptic, and she got really uncomfortable, and then, you know, a couple of minutes passed, and she says, so you just, you just tell that to people, that, you know, you like dead bodies? And I was like, what? And then I have to explain what narcolepsy was. And she's like, oh, okay. Just kidding, that didn't happen. Saying college instead of university was the tip off there. It was a it was an air quotes show story. It kind of happened though. A, a, a version of that happened. York's car. Oh wait, hold on. The true in the true version, she she wanted clarification right away because she was confused and she was like, "Wait, hold on. Are you saying what I think you're saying?" I was like, "No." And she's like, "Oh, okay." Hello, General. Can I have my car back, please? Just sunning, huh? <laughs> Ah, there you are. You came at a good time, son. I've come to hear more about the raincoat killer. Don't rush. Rushing on the battlefield will get you killed. Alright, this is your personality, huh? If you don't want to die, son, you should be methodical. He's faking. Well, even though that's a huge amount of scrap metal, humph. Son, you must be the only guy to see scrap when you look at those treasures. Look more carefully. Right here, just in front of you, this is what you were looking for. Come on, a car. There are still plenty of parts that can be used. Son, if you are ready to get your hands dirty, you should find useful parts for your car. What do you think? I don't I don't have a car. Now then, young fella. How do you feel about your current My game always crashes when I talk to this guy so good luck. Oh, I haven't saved it in forever. It's a piece of crap, but I'm not here to talk about that. Then how about a little treasure hunt? Okay. Listen up, young man. My junkyard is actually a mountain of treasure. All kinds of treasure lies in those mountains of junk. Yep. The problem is, there's so many, I've lost track of where everything is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You've caught on already. I can see it in your eyes. I need you to head out in the yard and find certain things for me. Certain can you things. Help me out. I'll customize your car a little. 
What are you talking about? Do I Didn't have I a tell car? You to shut up and listen to your superiors. Now, will you do it or not? I don't see any reason to refuse. Well said. First, I'll need some low gear parts. Nice. With that, I'll be able to boost the engine of your car. You'll find one around E5. What's E5? Go! Don't just stand there. Get going. Okay. Again, sorry to be like maybe obtuse, but I didn't under. I was under the impression we don't even have a car. I thought that we were just taking whatever car that we wanted. It's for every car you drive. Oh, it's just it's just a universal car upgrade. Oh, that's kind of neat. All right, I like that. All right, can we go in? But Sarge, I mean the general, may not take kindly to intruders. Better stay away. Ah, because he's because he's got the wrong um, insignia on his clothes, if I remember correctly. Okay, I kind of want to to save it. E five. E5. E. E5. It's in. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Should have spoken to him first. You got low gear parts. Do you watch any of the presidents do tier list vids? I've watched a couple of them. They're pretty funny. Sometimes they're less funny, but yeah. There was a Zelda one that was good. There was a. Uh, I think an Elden Ring one that was good. So far, they've been a bit hit or, hit or missy, but I like the concept. I like it when two of them gang up on the other one. The Joe Biden is so old, ha ha ha, kind of wears thin real fast. And that's not because I love Joe Biden so much, although I got nothing against him. It just, like, it's kind of low-hanging fruit. Like, I get it, he's old, you know? Like, what a fucking knee slapper, you know? Like, what do you want again? Continue shopping. It's a perfect day to go on a treasure hunt. If you dig deep enough, you might find something. All right. Diane's car. We can just we can just buy a car. What? Machina. Carol's car. Usha's car. Okay, what's the most expensive car? car? Diane's car is apparently the most expensive car. Okay, you know what? I, I like the car that we have. Oh, Quint's car. If we get Quint's car, can we can we uh can we drive one outside? This is it. This will save your life someday, son. You sure know how to exaggerate. You imbecile. Engine boost is vital for bringing back soldiers alive from war. Engine mm -hmm. boost. Of course. Engine boost is the basis of everything. Let me tell you a war story, son. I was driving through the battlefield. I was leading my unit at the very front line. Things were bad, and sanitary conditions were worse. Endless guerrilla attacks were stripping us of our manpower. Everyone was tired to their limits. There were guerrillas? There was one sergeant who really rubbed me the wrong way. The boys like to call him Crybaby Timothy. He really gave me headaches, I can tell you. How? Just by breathing. His posture was bad. He was weak, slow, easily distracted. I have no idea who thought he was capable of combat in a war zone. What's your posture right now, bud? He the lives of every member of the unit. Stomach pains. The worst stomach ache ever. Every one of us. It was just cooking. He was using so I, food I had to use an engine boost to go get us all a pizza so we didn't have to, to do it anymore. Like an Apache chopper returning I to base. saved us all. I have to tell you, it was a close call. My engine was boosting. <laughs> and that's what got me there safely. Right in the nick of time. Wait, what? What happened to the unit? <laughs> you really want to know? They all shit themselves. It was a terrible sight. Powerful, athletic men reduced to walking dead. Blinking like crazy, shaking with pain. Their confidence and self-esteem were all crushed. They almost didn't recover. An interesting story. <laughs> so you see the need for engine boost now, do you? I'll keep my side of the promise and get to work on your vehicle. Dan, now that we've heard that story, there's a random chance at some point in the game that York is going to grab his stomach while you're driving. Badge on him oh my God. sergeant. I need a bathroom. It looks like it was sewn on something else before and then it he's was gonna sewn on to his shirt. Two, one. I wonder what that's all about. All right, so yeah, is this the story about like he's faking or is he I put in hiding? longer pistons and optimized your lower gears. That should add boost to your speed when you accelerate. Nice. But there's still plenty of stuff I can do to make your car go faster. Just come see me again and I'll customize your car a little more. Okay, let's go again. All right, let's do it. Rank makes the man. That's true, but then the man also makes the rank. Status isn't as important as self-confidence. All right, that's it? All right, so do we have to come back the next day for this or no? All right, so this is the new car we have. So are our cars just going to spawn around us at this point? Oh, we have music in this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh we're good? Okay. 
All right, this is George's house. I need to wait here until nine. Chat, if I like smoke up right now, am, am I gonna like pass out because I haven't had any sleep or what's going on? Eh, we'll probably be fine. Do I have a, any alcohol on me? Oh, we can we can just drink a cola. Wish it was uh, in a in a glass bottle, but you know it's good enough. At least it's not plastic bottle. All right, s smoke until nine o'clock. Wish we had saved it. Oh no, I wish we had saved it. I feel like I'm staring at the abyss right now watching this hit 9 o'clock when I know I'm going to hit R and it's going to fucking crash at the end of this and I didn't save it after everything I just did for since we came back from break pretty much. Alright, here we go. Can I say I can't save it in the menu, can I? Alright, we're good. Alright. Alright. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. You can let George, me George, which do you prefer, mustard or hot sauce? <laughs> you didn't come all the way to my house just to ask me that. I did. You don't have other things you should be doing? I did, actually. But I'm interested in you right now. <laughs> interested? Agent Morgan, look, my mother is sick. If it's not urgent, I'd rather we did this later. Is she very ill? Well, I have to say, it doesn't look good. I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do? Actually, yes. No. This oh. is a private matter. I can't ask for your help. All right, you this know, is kind of sus. Back in D.C., people always came to me for personal advice. I'm here to help you if you let me. There's no need for that, Agent Morgan. Please. You need to... Abide by the rules, right? Okay, I get it. I didn't mean to invade into your private matters. Oh. George, I just thought you could use a friend who wasn't a dumbbell. Back when I was a kid, my mother really liked this flower. Flower? Yes. A small flower. No name. It grows somewhere here in Greenvale. Oh, I picked Although up a flower. I must admit, I've never seen it actually growing anywhere. I think it would make my mother happy if you could get her that flower. George, that's good. Great idea. Every woman likes to receive flowers. Yeah. You know all about that, right, Zach? In I any case, this is a one personal matter. Like flowers mostly. Make sure it doesn't interfere with the Flowers are nice. Of course not, George. But I'm going to find that flower for you. Nameless flower. George's mother is sick and so he wants to get her favorite flower for her. Find the flower with no name that only blooms in the rain and take it to George when he's at home after it. Okay, did I find that? I think maybe I have that already. Okay. Th this is weird. <laughs> Agent Morgan, York. I do have it. Nice. George, here it is. The nameless flower. For a nameless king. Agent Morgan. No need to thank me. I got you I to did pick this it up on my own. Too. Shimano. Nice. Tell your mother I hope she gets well soon. Yeah, I'll do that. This will make her feel at least a little better. I sure hope so. I really do. Tutorial jump scare. You got radio. Okay. Take uh, this. What the f- It's an emergency police radio. If you're ever in trouble, use it. And I'll be right there. Thank you, George. Now, Agent Morgan, don't take this the wrong way. You it's think? not an emotional thank you gift for helping me with my mother. Oh. I'm giving you this so we can do our jobs more smoothly, that's all. Yeah. Ah, uh, what do you think about that, Zach? Zach, he never answered my question about preferring mustard or hot sauce. But he doesn't have to. I know that he's more of a hot sauce guy. I prefer mustard myself. Which one do you prefer, Zach? No need to answer right away. Maybe you want to try a couple and see what you think. Okay, what does the radio do? I thought it was going to give us music as we drive around. I didn't know it was going to be uh, this thing. Um, first of all, before we use it, I need to go save it. Where is there a save? I think we're going to have to go sleep, right? It's fast travel? Oh. Zach, oh, okay. is there something here that you want to check out? According to Lily, the twins should be with Kaysen. Lily? Perhaps we should try going to where she told us they might be. Do I have to use it in the car? Maybe that's a dumb idea, actually. It went in the toolbox. Oh, okay, let's go back to the hotel then, and we'll get out of the we'll get out of the, uh, the toolbox when we're there. We never went to Sweary 65. What's that? Greetings, weebs. All right, what's new, pussycat? <gasps> yes. Wait, what? I thought I, I thought I hit take item out. Oh, I did. It's just the same menu. Okay. Your inventory is full. All right. What's panda bear? Oh, we can access the. The gun shop from anywhere we want? Oh, that's um, a bold move. 
Why is someone screaming upstairs? Let's take, put the knife away. Okay, first aid kits are probably good to have. Coffee is good to have in a pinch. Stabilizer, okay, we never, we never use stabilizer. Flares, we're never using flares. Um, cookie, we're never using cookie, unless we have some milk. Let's put the fish away. Your toolbox is full. What do you mean my toolbox is full? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Hey, Quint. Hmm. You again, what do you want? Bye. Is that Sally? You just want a drink? Actually, I don't. Your girlfriend just got murdered and you're working? Hmm. No, I just, what is with the menu? Like, like being sticky for a second. How are you liking the game so far? I like it a lot. It's really weird though. Don't understand how I feel. Oh, okay, that's cool. Hey, Sally, how's it going? Just having a brewski, huh? <sighs> how are you? Feel a little better, at least right now I do. So is there anything else you can tell me about the day Anna died? Yes, I had a fight with Anna the day before she was killed. Well, suspicious about what? Anna had a bad habit. She would lie to me. She was visiting a boy, but she lied about it to me. Sally, all girls her age are like that. That doesn't make Anna a bad girl. There's nothing special about that, but she was special. Her blonde hair was so beautiful. Oh, enough about her blonde hair. Such beautiful hair. I always brushed it for her. Sally, what? What's that look for? You want her hair, don't you? Yes. Was it you then? Are you the one she was seeing behind my back? Get out of here, you pig. Don't come near her again. Let her be, Zach. It's all, it's all in self-defense. Protecting Anna in her imagination allows her to cling to her identity. All right. We got paid for that. Number 30, number 30. Play darts. You get a prize each time you achieve a high score. You have to pay a game fee of 50 to play. $50 to pay, to, to, to play? What the hell? Counting rule explanation. Nah, I don't need the I don't need the rules. I'll just play. If you want to play darts, you need a dart gun. You can buy one on my bar if you want one. All right. Thank thank you, tutorial man. Why do I need? Just give me the dart gun when I'm playing the game. What the hell? We just left, didn't we? God fucking damn it. Is darts worth it, chat? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely. All right. Gonna lose 20 viewers over this. Okay. Do you sell it? Hmm. You don't. Oh, buffalo wings. Oh, buffalo wings. I'll take a buffalo wing, please. Oh, I'm mm. full. There's only one wing left. One wing left. What should I do? Mm. Bag it up. Let me take it home, please. Really hey. did lose 20 viewers. You want a drink? What do you recommend? How about a tequila sunrise then? Mick Jagger's love affair with one of these beauties is well documented. Okay, so you're a romantic one. All men are romantic, you know. Even you know. Even you, I'm sure. Ask your ask yourself seriously. By the way, did you see Quinn's menu, York? His menu's a little different from mine. Just adds a little personality to the place, right? You pick whichever you want to serve you. Let's take it e easy, okay? Sorry. Quint went to see Becky pretty much every day. He was trying to help her, but still, she was killed. Such a pity. Those two girls, they were still so young. It was you. Did Becky give anything to Quint? I don't know. He's never said anything like that to me, at least. Detective York Morgan. Yeah. There has been another murder. I just want to let him be for a while, you know? It could be anyone in Greenville. That's over seven people. Good man. No, I don't want that. Oh, I do want that. I do want that. I want the dark gun. All right. We have the dark. That's a weird ass gun. Okay. Ooh, spicy tacos. I could go for some spicy tacos right now. Do, 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 do. Try to make it into the high scores. Here we go. Press space to focus your mind and aim. Pay attention to your pulse gauge. Aim with mouse. Shoot darts with left. Concentrate with left control. All right, here we go. All right, what are we, what are we aiming for? Shit. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Does stamina go down? Why are some of them lighting up? Oh, -ho! I don't know why they're lighting up. I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, five. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, close. Close. Oh, triple one. Nice. Okay, why are these lighting up? Fuck, I missed. If only you had read the rules. There were no rules. What are you talking about? Single, 18. Yeah. All right, there you go. That, that lit up. Let's go for the, the 15 triple. Oh, it's a triple triple. Oh, oh, -ho. oh, okay. Let's go for a bullseye. 
Bullseye. What if we get a, like a bullseye bullseye right like right in the middle of the bullseye? What does that do? Bullseye. All right. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. This is the, the big money one. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, we're about to run out of stamina. I think I might have to blind fire one. Miss. Game over. Francis York Morgan. Richard Dunn. All right, not bad. You updated the score ranking as promised. Here's your present. Congratulations, you're in the top three. Hey, top three for first try is not bad. You acquired Richard Richard Dunn. We just have him? We just have Richard Dunn. Okay, do you think we can do it? Is there any way to upgrade our stamina meter? Okay, what's the what's the red bullseye? Is that worth even more or no? Okay, that that's on, that uh, maybe that's not on the red actually. What? That, what? What? Oh, it, I, it was on. Maybe it wasn't on it, actually. I don't know. Hold on. It's, it's, we, we got, it's gotta be something special for that. Come on. No, it's not. Am I just a little, a little off? Bullseye. Bullseye. All right, tri triple 19. Here we go, triple 19. How? How the fuck? How the fuck? How the fuck? It's not going well, chat. It's not going well. Times five. Oh, damn. Okay, 18. Oh, no! Oh, the upset! Oh, rumbled! Oh, no! Getting some big persona vibes from this music. Anyone else feeling it? No, not really? I'm, I'm, I'm getting some, like, uh, some boss battle persona music from this. Good. All right, here we go. 300 points. 300 points. Oh my god, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's beginning to believe. Shit. Okay, well, we're not going to get it, unfortunately. All right, why are you highlighting the bullseye? All right, I think we missed, actually. I don't think that's on. I don't think that's on the bullseye. It was! It was on the bullseye! Times 10. 500 points. E Z game, E Z life, done. First try, first try. Ah oh, man, that hasn't happened for a while. Top rank. Did I do something bad? Well, yeah, bad for me, but good for you. Lucky son of a gun. I'm not still... sure that I follow you. You just broke the record I set a few years ago. Is that so? Huh. Hey, Second man, try. Show a little more excitement, will ya? We're all FBI agents as stuffy as you. Anyway, I had no idea you were so good at dunce. Me well, neither. Start playing. Just now? I started when I came to this town. <laughs> Since you came to Greenville? You're kidding, right? Oh, no chill. Guns, yeah. No chill. No chill. percent technique, and the remaining 80% is all in the head. You need a powerful mind that's able to concentrate for long periods of time. What? You see, humans can only concentrate on one thing for so long, so you have to really stay focused and concentrate on the moment you release the dart. What'd you, you say? Have a very powerful mind. We went through mental training at Quantico. Hey, there's your prize. What's this for? For getting the highest score. You won't see many of these around. Take good care of it. A fanny pack? A bag that will let you hold more weapons. Wait, we got inventory increase slots? Oh man, this is really worth it. Holy shit. We can put our dart gun in it. Why does York have flies around it? Because we, because our our suit needs to be uh changed. Oh look, the, the the deer is asleep. Speaking of deer, anyone else catch on the on the, the weekends or was it yesterday? Um, the Northern Lion clip that was going around because we were mentioning a lot today that uh, uh, like he he thinks that he can take a wolf in a fight with his bare hands. Remember that? That that was a fun weekend bit. But not a cow, yeah. But not a cow. He said he has a chance. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah, there's a, there's a chance. Just jam your arm into its throat easy. Couldn't you asphyxiate a cow? If you if you jumped on a cow's back, cows are pretty docile, right? If you jumped on a cow's back, took your shirt off, wrapped the shirt around the cow's neck, and just like just tightened, tightened, tightened. Could could you as asphyxiate a cow? No. 
Is a cow's neck too bulky? Chat, chat, I'm not saying, like, that's something you could do. I'm asking, could you do it? Oh, damn. My sweet home. Is that the... Oh, we can go wherever we want now. Oh, man, this is the best. All right, I want to go, I want to go home. Uh-oh. What's my sweet home? What's this? I have a house? When did I get a house? I don't remember getting a house, chat. What the hell is this here? DLC? When did I get DLC? I don't remember getting DLC. <sighs> Alright. Let's sleep for... Uh, nine, long sleep? I think, I think it's like nine, yeah, let's, let's long sleep, long sleep. And then we'll go get our free lunch. Yeah. I hate that suit. It looks like pajamas, doesn't it? It's awful. Should we change into the red one? The red one's a little better, right? It's funny. Oh, fine. It's terrible, man. It's terrible. Oh. Shaving or not? This is the longest tub in the history of tubs. Ooh. Okay. Shave for sure? No. Our beard hasn't gotten any longer though, right? I think this is it. Looking good, York. Who would win a fight between you and NL? NL? Probably NL. I think NL has a higher higher level of fitness than me at the moment. Although I have started exercising again. So I'm happy about that. But I would have a lot of time to catch up. You have dad strength. NL is also a dad. I'm a, I'm a higher tier dad. But I don't think that would help a lot, actually. Alright, let's use the, the walkie-talkie to go to the, uh, the, the um, police station. Who wins in a rap battle between you and NL? Also, NL, haven't you heard our Deadly Premonition songs? His is way better than mine. I can't go up against that level of trivia. Are you kidding? Lunchtime? <sighs> Sheriff and Emily are both doing their best. They continue their duties even after the murders and me. I'm doing my best by getting the meals ready. Do you want lunch today? Of course. Good, I'll get something uh, something ready. Yeah. Oh, we exhausted all of the lunchtime dialogue? Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh yeah, they're dead soon for sure. Okay. Emily's the next to die. Forgettable luncheon. Grilled hams. All right, where is my car? Dude, where's my car? Here's my car. All right, we're go main quest time, everybody. Main quest time, everybody. Here we go. Are you going to play the sequel? Um, probably eventually, yeah. We, we will play every game eventually. Wow, that's really far away. Oh, can I use the, the thing to, um, to fast travel there? Probably not, actually. I think I have to... I have to see it first, don't I? Should we stop off at uh, at Forest Keeper's Cabin to see Jim Green? All right, I want to go through the long tunnel. I want to go through the long tunnel. All right, so turn left and turn right and we can go through the long tunnel. Joe, will you stream Resident Evil 4 when it comes out? No, I'm not going to. I have to take a long extended stream break and then come back out of nowhere and that's when we play Resident Evil games, as is tradition. I don't know, we might play when it comes out. I haven't played Resident Evil 4 um, in like, 12 years or whatever, I don't know. A couple years after it came out is when I played it and I've never played it again since. Not my favorite game. Hot take, little overrated. Little overrated. Definitely a good game, but you know what? Not the best game in the world. It's not the halo of third person shooters that a lot of people seem to think it is. Dude, I've seen some promotional material and they made Ashley look a lot older than she did in the original. I thought in the original she was like 15 and she's 20? I was like, what the hell? And in the, in the new one, she actually does look 20, I think. So I don't know if they did that on purpose because they made her look too young in the, in the original. Okay, this is the right way, right? Gotta be. What game are we talking about? Resident Evil 4. Man, I know it feels like we might have wasted some time doing side quests today, but we got some good experience out of it. And also we got a much faster car and the ability to fast travel. I feel like this is gonna be like a, a net positive, he says, as the speed of the car inexplicably throws him off the road. Okay, I think it's gonna be a net positive. Whoa, 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 okay, is it worth it? Let's let's stop off here and see what's here. Gonna catch a killer, the Rinko killer, the Chris of Greenville, gonna catch a killer, buddy Zach is gonna help. Who's here, Jim? Oh, hey, Jim, how's it going? Shouldn't you be with the twins? <laughs> the twins aren't here. They're off with Kaysen somewhere. I do worry about them when they're with that man, but I still just let it happen. We don't know if about him, but we still just let it happen. All right, cool. That's just great. I wonder what's going to happen here. We're going to have a forest dungeon section. Halo is embarrassing. You played Half-Life 1. What, what, what is this Halo hate? 
Sony Bros, you won clearly. Like, like the, the it's not even like a small skirmish between Sony and and Microsoft anymore. Like, come on, the battle is long over, and 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 the enemy has been defeated. You could admit that that the Xbox had and good game, okay? A mid game Halo's pretty fucking fun. Original Halo, like I didn't even play it on Xbox. I played it on PC, and it was it was it's fun. Like the multiplayer was good. It revolutionized a lot of first person shooters in that that era. You know, like like you can't deny it was influential. Last good Halo was in 2006. So the first Halo, when was when when did when was that? Was that Halo 3? Was that Halo 2? Halo 2 sucked. <laughs> Halo, was Halo 3 really 2006? Oh my god, that's like 2012 in my head. What the hell's that? Oh, is that the the crime scene? Okay. There's a bone. I want to I want to get the bone. It was 11 years ago in your head. Yeah. Your perception of time gets a bit weird when you get up to where I am at, okay? And I'm not even that super old, so I'm guessing it gets even worse from here on out. Okay, we're getting more of a skeleton. I wonder if it's going to talk to us after we've got all the pieces. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but Shouldn't I let someone know? Halo 2 is the best, what the fuck? Sorry, I'm a traditionalist. I like my games to have endings. You know, you might not like that or appreciate that, I guess. So you think that Halo 2 is good? Fair enough, I guess. I just can't get on board with that. My bad. Gonna catch a killer. The Rinko killer. Halo 2 had the best set in multiplayer. I didn't play any of the Halo 2 multiplayer. I played Halo 2 in a, in a fugue state the night before Halo 3 came out because I wanted to go to the Halo 3 midnight uh, like release and then I went and got it and then went home and went to sleep. <laughs> Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? According to Lily, the twins should be with Kaysen. Perhaps we should try going to where she told us they might be. <laughs> Alright, what's what's up here? Is this, it's a shortcut? What is... Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. We're gonna sneak up campaign suck anyway i thought the halo 1 campaign and the halo 3 campaign was pretty fun halo 2 campaign was pretty bad completely forgettable i don't remember a single part of halo 2 agent york i found isaac and isaiah they're over there let's go da, 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 da. hello again isaac and isaiah i hear you're teaching willie to do tricks what's your secret you fed him a locket it's easy really simple if he does it right, we give him a treat. Oh. A cookie if he does it right. I see. Very clever. So, tell me, you two. Could you perhaps tell me your other special secret with Becky? What? No, we can't. It won't be a secret if we tell. Based. Uh, I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Yeah, Becky's well, dead. It's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky promise to catch the bad man alert, but I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? Oh, that does make sense. Huh. You steam a good ham, York. Time for the whistling song. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. How'd you hide a box on your mom? And then you met Carol on your way? Yep, I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. It's respectable. Okay, okay. Now bust them for spilling secrets. So Becky did entrust the locket to them, and now Carol has it. Right, Kaysen? Huh? <gasps> oh, you oh, were in the room yeah. when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only uh, chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in, all angry looking. Angry. While Carol and Diane had their talk, oh, I, I just sat there like a frog. Like a frog. Yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? Yeah. This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. What? 
which makes you Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Isaac and Isaiah, thank you. I think I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you too. How is Becky? Is she getting better? She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? Yeah, real She'll soon. She'll come and play with us again, won't she? Boys, about Becky. Uh, that's right. Um, Becky is almost totally better now. Whoa! But I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret, but she's actually a goddess of the forest, just like Anna. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. Cool! We'll keep this a secret then, too. Wow! That's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. (laughs) Okay, okay, Willie. You know what? Happy too, I bet you this you? town forces these kids to finish their plates too. Zach, have, I have hope to eat Emily all their food. End up as a forest goddess too. Oh, she totally will. Totally will. And we'll lie to the kids about it. What does that sound? Okay then, Zach. Let's go over what we found out recently about the case. First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery, she was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Nick confirmed this, and so she has an alibi. What if Nick's lying? But then we have what Nick's wife, Olivia, told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was, Zach? No, I don't. The art gallery? There's a clock? I didn't know there was a clock in town. The art gallery. That's right. The art gallery. That's right. The square hole. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia, almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. If Olivia is correct... Didn't you hear I thought that was just like a non-diegetic clock. I didn't realize it was a real clock. We have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. I I understand now that that was a bad assumption. The only thing we can say for sure... I want to go see the clock now. ...is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. He has no alibi for the crime, but that fact alone means nothing. Polly talked about... Yeah, but Polly's insane! So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? Uh, Carol. It was Carol. No, you're wrong, Zach. Oh, uh, no, it was Quint! Now, who was it that contacted Thomas at the sheriff's office? I thought it, I thought it was like, it couldn't have been them, but yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was Carol. It was Quint. That's right. That's right. It was Quint, Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. Now, about Becky's murder, I'm embarrassed and mortified. Killer struck again while we were on the case. Was there a seed out there? there? I don't time. think there was, was there? A massive amount of red seeds that poured out with the blood. Then an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. Wait, did we? From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. We what the fuck? We also found one other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? Becky spat- I thought she spat out a key. Sorry, I feel like I'm paying attention to this and I- and I- that was lost on me. Oh, shit. Um, fuck. What did he say? Uh, stiletto heels, a sketch- a sketchbook. Yeah, that was it. When we did the- the- the, right. the- the pencil on it. We found a sketchbook in Becky's room. She had apparently written a letter to her sister Diane. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. So, Miss Stiletto Heels was Becky. Miss Stiletto Heels. There was something else at the end of the letter. It said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zach? The twins. That's right, Zach. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For some reason, Carol wanted the locket. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Casey just happened to be there. Is Casey involved in this? Casey out the place. Or was he just there by coincidence? I wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Why did Carol want it so badly? Questions are mounting. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records, and his call definitely came from her house. Ooh. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? It's definitely possible. But everyone is suspicious one way or another. Even Polly. What should we do next, Zach? We should go get the locket. Who's the most suspicious? Carol. Carol's not here. Diane. That's right. That's right. Becky's sister and Carol's enemy. Linked to both Nick and Kaysen, the elegant owner of the art gallery. Zach, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. 
First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. What do you mean? <gasps> he did the shave the beard! The what the fuck? Tell Diane when she leaves. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside the bar. Yes. Yes, I will. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. In my swimsuit. Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Nice. Then at that time, we do it, boys and girls. Do, do, do. I want to watch that scene again. I didn't. I didn't catch at all that she she spat out seeds. Did it say she spat out seeds, or are you just supposed to know from the visual? If you're supposed to know from the visual, I don't blame myself for not really knowing or really noticing. It was very obviously shown. I thought it was just blood. Like obviously she coughed something up. She coughed it up with the key, but I thought it was blood. I didn't think it was seeds. So I don't think it was very obviously so, sh shown. How old are you considering you have four kids? I am 37. I had my first kid at 29, just about to turn 30. Zach, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. Let's go smoke. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. What's your first name considering you have four kids? Daddy. All right, we have half an hour to kill. All right, what should we do, chat? Milk barn. Okay. Wait, hold on, is that a new race? Milk barn. Iron Wrath is the Anu of this playthrough because he is the one that campaigned for it in the voting thing. How do I just get out and just use the thing? Zach, is there some- I don't need to learn the, the layout of the town anymore. I just need to use the, the radio. Milk barn. Do you think the reason why they couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again was because they had the horses helping? I feel like the horses are just gonna get in the way. No, horses are good at things. Horses aren't good at putting things back together though. Joe, what the hell? What do you mean? It's closed. Lamayo got him? Iron Wrath, what are you doing? Don't steal Ricky Gervais joke. Did Ricky Gervais, Ricky Gervais has a joke? Oh, do you think we have enough enough cards to show Panda Bear? To, to, to show uh, Wesley? I think we do. Weather doll, a doll that expresses something about sunshine, I think. Hey Wesley, wanna see my cards? Hmm. I'm gonna show you some cards and in return, you're gonna give me a card. You found new cards? Show them to me. I think we got enough. There's more than 16 here. I'm Hell impressed. yeah. I appreciate you showing them to me. Here's a card. Here's a little something, as promised. You got Panda Bear card. It's a, it is a card. What's this do? Hold on to it, okay? Okay. What does it do? If you find any new cards, come show them to me, will you? How many do we need now? 32? 32 cards? What? I didn't expect all this Fido bullshit in the game. I didn't expect an open world and free. I thought it was going to be like chapter based. I thought it was going to be like evil within one, not evil within two, but even more freedom edition. Only 32. I think I have like 18, don't I? I thought it was going to be good. It has been pretty good so far. It's been strange. There's a new quest with the general. He's probably closed though. It's really late. I don't want to smoke a cigarette just for 20 minutes, but I guess that we're going to have to do it. It doesn't tell us how many we have. 16, 18. We have 20. Okay. That's more than I thought. If the game had any polish. You don't understand. The lack of polish just adds to the charm. Instead of having a fully polished experience, you get something that's kind of janky, but full of heart and dare I say it, soul. Oh, is this George's house? Let's go creeping in George's house. He's hiding something. There's no mom at all. George came out of a vat. Lily? Is this the wrong house? My god, it's not e it's not even it's not even George's house. It's Keith's house. Man, George is in on us. He's moved. Alright, there are quests in there. I'm coming in. Oh, they're close. No, 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 I don't want to look it up. <sighs> Check downstairs for a dude on his PC. What? Why? Boom, that's the wrong <laughs> That's the wrong number. Like over here in, in another window or what? Oh, nice car. Keith's car, considering his preference for rock music, his choice of car is hardly surprising. In the game or IRL? Wow, plus two. Oh, that was easy. Olivia Cormac, the next to die, another goddess. Mm, all right, what's the point of this? Do we do a race here and something unlocks? Do we come here later? What is this? Jokes aside, in your opinion, is it better to focus on a game's mechanic, mechanic, or 
mechanics or graphics when a writer when the writer can only produce generic predictable storyline like Forspoken or Until Dawn? Or is it better to just dial up the game's craziness and just make it ironically good with worse polish, even though with higher risk of misses like Indigo Prophecies or DP? I don't know. That That's a really, really tough question. I think the games are too much of a messy collaborative process to say that there's a hard and fast rule. Um, in general, though, whatever results in the more interesting experience is what I would like to see more. And uh, as, as bad as the David Cage games are, they are interesting to stream at least. When it came to playing them on your own, eh, I don't know about that. I There aren't many games like it, so I want to support weird experiences because we can all learn from it and get something new from it, I guess. But I don't know. I'd rather have more games like this than games like Forspoken. I think more games should focus on mechanics more than stories, though, no matter what. Because games should be games first in almost all cases. For who? Forspoken! Did you ever think about speedrunning a game on stream soon? Yeah, I don't know what game to, to speedrun. I would like to try someone like that. The game I would want to speedrun more than anything would actually be Super Mario 64, because I used to watch that a lot. But, like, that's another thing that NL has also done already. And, like, the whole comparison thing is getting a little tired, to be honest. Like, I would definitely want to have my own streaming identity. So, like, I think that's off the table. Hollow Knight? I don't know if I would enjoy streaming Hollow Knight. Neon white shirt? Well, that's just playing the game, is it not? How do we get in there? Oh, we don't get in there. We just do it. Okay, there's nothing here. It's just it's just some bullshit. Maybe we come here later. Okay, let's go to the thing and just wait for eight minutes. Maybe we'll do Q&A. Factorio steal X percent or go TLP percent? What's go TLP? Go TLP these nuts? Ooh, there's a card in the Great Deer ho ho Hotel now and also two things to fish. Also, all oh, roaming Sigourney is is, is is reporting for duty. Do do duty. Do 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 duty. Let's go see roaming Sigourney. Why do you see games are collaborative mess when a majority of big AAA games made using data science and algorithms? What? I don't know what that means. Chatter. Sorry. Okay, where's Sigourney? She she was here, wasn't she? She was like she, there. She is. She's right here. Oh my God, Sigourney, you're pot. Quick, get in the car. Hey Sigourney. Hey you're. I'm glad you're here. My pot. It's getting cold. Please. Let's get going. Okay, no problem. Let's get cracking. By the way, what's in the pot? Pot. A smaller pot. Does that really matter? Now let's get going. Hurry! Once we get her home, Zach, let's ask her again. Cold pot two. Here we go. The sequel. Two, now, three, get the two, car going. one. My house is over by the lake. I know. Three, two, <laughs> one, go! <laughs> All right, are we going straight or are we going backwards? All right, we're going. Yeah, we're going. We're, we're turning around for sure, right? It's this one. Okay, so we turn around for sure. Turn around, bright eyes, and then we go straight for a long time. All right, so we turn around, we go across the bridge, we go down, and then we turn the first left after. No, third left after crossing the bridge. You know what? It's kind of like giving directions in real life. Damn, map reading. Who knew I could do it? Spoilers, I can't. This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. What if there's something this horrible my in there? Pot is going to get cold. Hurry, hurry, step on it. Why do you have to drive so safely? Can't you see my pot is getting cold? Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If we go this slow, my pot is going to get cold. This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. At this rate, my pot is going to get cold. Hurry! No wrong house! Hurry. No! I'm sorry, Sigourney! You have to drive so safely. Can't you see my pot is getting cold? Why aren't we there yet? Could you step on it? If well, we let it chill out. My pot is going That's to get the problem. Cold. The pot's getting cold. Aren't you listening? Oh, do, do, thanks to do, you, do, my do, pot do, is still do, warm. So tell me, Sigourney. Do, do, do. Just what is in the pot? She's a pot warmer. You really want to know, don't you? Yes, very much. What if it's full of red seeds? Well, I'm sorry. I can't tell you. I'm gonna need one the more tripod. has to make that decision, not me. Okay. What? Then I need to get to know the pot better first, right? Social link with the pot? That's right. In life, you can't skip steps. You have to take one step at a time. And take the proper steps. For all the actions, there is a reaction. If you ask the pot, the pot will answer. It's that simple. There's truth to what you say. Yes. 
The pot is full of truth. Pot of greed. If you want to meet the person you are searching for, you have to ask the pot. Listen carefully. The more steps it takes to cook a stew, the better it tastes when it's cooked. True. The, that's why the best stew could never be made. Infinite steps, infinite good stew. You got Sigourney's pot. Oh my! My pot is getting cold again! Did you have to talk so long? Ugh. Is she a pothead or a pot stand? Pot stand for sure. Will you be playing Deadly Premonition 2? It delays 13 Sentinels even further. We will not be playing De Deadly Premonition 2 until we are done with the rest of the games on the voting list, I think. But we will probably play it, yes. Can you spell I cup? Why do you want me to see you pee? You're disgusting. Gross. Perverted snail, this chatter. You think you could get me with that? You think you could get me with that? I was born in the 80s, motherfucker. You really think? You come into my house. <gasps> it's time. Wait, it's another hour after this. I thought, oh, for fuck's sake. Let's just go fuck, fucking smoke the cigarette. God damn it. It's another fucking hour. Wait, did, did daylight savings times just kick in? I hate daylight savings time. Have you played Heart of Rain World? I played it, I didn't like it, but I'd like to give it another chance one Zach, day. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's Bar at 2200. We're free until then. Do you know it says gullible on the ceiling? It actually does. I preempted that joke and I wrote gullible on my ceiling uh, when I made my office down here in case that ever happened. So it actually does. Thank you for, you know, allowing me to finally say that on uh, stream chatter. Gonna catch a killer. Oh, we went back in the car. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we you know, planned Kentucky is the only U.S. state that starts with a K. I wonder what happens next. What about Arkansas? Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. Uh oh, raincoat Agent killer. York, Nick is leaving the bar. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Emily, let's meet up I there. I don't think we're in Candace Check. anymore. Copy that. I kind of like Emily, and I don't know why, because she has hey, no you personality. Know what? It's Nick. Hey, Nick, want to ride? Oh, it's raining. Time to go put my raincoat on. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Oh, York's having fun. Here okay. we go. Time to play with the big boys, Nick. She's blonde. Do you really think that's all I have to have? Okay, Sh surely he is going to see a police car. Tail. Shit. I think he noticed us. Okay. How can you stay <laughs> calm at a time like this? We just failed. No need to worry. Nick will do this all again tomorrow. Night. No! How no. can you be so sure? No! If he breaks his daily pattern just because he saw us tonight, then no. that would mean he's up to no good. Are the question you in there. He'll be at the bar. Kid. I'll bet dinner on it. You sound very confident. <laughs> All right, then. We'll try again tomorrow. I'll let George know that we're trying again tomorrow. So, we have to do all this again tomorrow? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Looks like Nick gets to play with the big boys for another day. Just let me reload! No! <laughs> Shit! When did I last save it? When did I last save it? It was a, it was a while, wasn't it? God damn it. God damn it. All right, I think we smoke until free lunch, eat the free lunch, down a bunch of coffees and coke, smoke again until 10, and then we go. Here we go. Oh, fucking hell. Just fast travel? <sighs> Gonna catch a killer. The Rinko killer. All right, let's <sighs> sleep. Like what? Like 12 hours? Right? And then another nine? Or mm -hmm. go and just smoke outside until we're ready, right? Probably, right? Let's just go smoke it up outside. I think that's probably best. All right, let's change back into our normal clothes. Save? Yeah, we should probably save it, I guess. What genres of games do you enjoy breaking a lot of the time? All of them. All of them. I enjoy breaking all games. Wait, is it still free lunch time? Oh, man. Oh, man, it's going so well. Do you think there's this, this a free lunch like thing now that we've progressed the quest a little bit? I don't think so, but let's find out. Man, George is probably regretting big time that he uh, that he gave us this, huh? Is he picking us up every time? Zero chance of she? I don't think so either. I can't believe how hard the game got. Yeah, I, I was like, why is it that the lights let him see me, but like the police car following in the back isn't? Like, come on. Bait, legend worm. Raises the chances of catching rare items. Yeah, okay, whatever. 
Whatever, I'm salty. I'm salty as a as a snail. <sighs> Alright, I don't think there's gonna be a new one. Dude. That Willy is Whoa! one smart piece, there is! isn't he? He certainly is. And speaking of smart, those twins are pretty bright too. Do, Birds of a do, feather do, play together. Willy? Oh, you mean Kason's dog? Well, a smart dog is still a dog. A human is obviously a lot smarter. You really think so, George? I can think of a few police dogs that do a better job than their co-workers. <laughs> You're right. And dogs have no ambitions nor prejudices either. Well said, Emily. They can be just Dear as smart or smarter than humans at times. Can we stop talking about dogs now? Some of us are trying to eat. Whoa, what's wrong with dogs? I don't trust anyone who doesn't like dogs. let me guess. You're scared of dogs? Oh, well, you see... Not another word, Thomas. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Nothing to be ashamed about, George. We all have our weaknesses. Like me. I can't stand spiders myself. Just looking at one makes me cringe. Those movies with them scare me, too. Like Spider-Man? No. I was talking about, you know, arachnophobia. No need to get all defensive now, is there, Zach? I thought both of them were pretty good, actually. What? Which Spider-Man? Which Spider-Man? <sighs> with Toby? Was the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man even out at this point? I haven't seen that one. I've only ever seen the Toby Spider-Man. Also, George is wearing a hat. I don't trust anyone who wears a hat. George is up to something. Doesn't like dogs. If you have a bad experience with a dog and you're scared of dogs, I can understand that. That's fine. But if you just have decided you don't like dogs, like, I... Fucking hell. We were doing so good. Like, I don't understand how you can, like, not like a dog. But definitely never trust anyone who wears a hat. Dogs are lame, I stay inside. What, what, what is staying inside got to do with dogs? We've had a bad experience with dogs. Well, that's what I said. I, just, I prefaced the whole the whole spiel with if you had a bad like encounter with a dog and you're scared of a dog, then okay, there are some bad dog owners out there. And I can I can understand you do that forming your opinion, you know? But like if you just decide one day, you know, screw it. I just don't like dogs. Now the FPS is going to be broken. Here we go. All right, is there a new recap? Previously during the investigation... I'm Kason, Forrest Kason. <laughs> Thomas, did you see Nick here? I, 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 no. I, I, when I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. No! It's just oh, Nick. Oh, please, no! She got us good this time, Zach. <laughs> just such a trash fire! What were they thinking? Unless that was the point. It's amazing. UI wear I hat. Let me do it. What? So what's the game about again? Gonna catch a killer. The Rinko killer. The curse of Green Veil. Gonna catch a killer. Buddy Zach is gonna help. Hello there, Superintendent Chalmers. I hope you're ready. For an exciting luncheon. Hello, Principal Skinner. I don't know what he says next. So you call them steamed hams, even though they've obviously been grilled. I'm losing the tone of it now because I'm feeling comfortable because I can't sing. All right, let's keep going. Where are we going? Turn around. Where'd my car go? Junkyard. Okay, we'll go to the junkyard and then we'll do the quest. Where's the junkyard? Let's just do the thing to the junkyard. Hey Joe, did you watch the Last of Us TV show and do you have any interest in the series after the Last Zach, of Us 2? No and no. That you want to check out? Playing playing the Last of Us 3, if there is ever a Last of Us 3, which there probably will be a Last of Us 3, will be um like playing something as a critic for work rather than oh my god, I'm chomping on the bit for more Last of Us. Last of Us 2 is not that bad, Joe. It really was that bad. The Last of Us 2 was a waste of time. Like eating watermelon instead of just drinking a glass of water. <laughs> Yeah, hey, boy. You have potential, soldier. I want you to take a look around J-10. I'll need high gear parts. They should be around there somewhere. If you can find them and bring them back to me, I'll be able to increase the top speed of your vehicle. Nice. Now that sounds like a plan. It's a fail-proof plan, soldier. You must learn to trust your superiors. Around J-10, then. Your orders are clear. Now roll out. Did you play Last of Us 2 as a critic or for enjoyment at the time? For enjoyment, I love Last of Us 1. I still do love Last of Us 1. It's it diminished at least a little bit because of Last of Us 2. But yeah, that seems a bit unfair though. Last of Us 1's really good. 
I even think the combat in Last of Us 1 is pretty good. I think that the slower pace, like, have to think overthink your shots a lot, um, is, uh, is good. Like, it's, it's decent. Mid-ass franchise. Wow. Wasn't your opinion on Last of Us 2 more tame than this? Something about how the game doesn't worship the first, but the hate was overblown? Um... The hate being overblown is almost certainly true because people don't just hate that game because it was a, a disappointing, you know, mess or like I didn't have a really good time playing it. They they rabidly hate it for sometimes reasons that get stupidly political even. Uh, so that is true. It's definitely overblown. The hate is not it's not worth that much hate. But like I think the game is absolutely a waste of time. It's just really really bad. As time has gone on, my thoughts have gotten more negative about it. I used to think that it was trying to do something brave and now i don't know if that's the case anymore it kind of feels like the game they made they had a plan or something in mind and then they just suddenly had to shift direction because someone decided now nah, i don't want to do that anymore and instead they just backed off into this really basic ass plot it, it's really disappointing where where is this chat is it over here somewhere there it is you got high gear parts. I found it eventually. I don't know if he said, if he did, sorry, I was, I was reading chat a bit. So you found what we need? This is it. This will save your life someday, son. What's the story this time? Speed determines everything on the battlefield, life or death. You're not going to tell me another story about stomach pains, are you? Son, I told you already. Don't muck your superiors. It's a very serious story this time. It starts with a question. Why did we lose the battle? We had firepower and the air support in the beginning. But looking at the results of a war of attrition, we learned a lesson. We lacked speed when speed was needed. It was our superior's fault. We should have carried out a swifter attack. That would have saved more of our soldiers. Although crybaby Timothy was doomed either way. You really hated that sergeant, didn't you? Don't talk to me with that tone, boy. I think this Words is crybaby Timothy. Describe how much I hated him. I was at war with a crybaby. No one has enough lives to survive that. He poisoned us with our own food, washed all our weapons with soap and water, launched a signal flare thinking it was a firework, set off countless traps laid by the enemy. More than half of the unit had to return home sick because of him. I don't know how much of this to believe. <laughs> Believe as much as you like. <laughs> and one time I, I found nice him buying gay porn at the gay porn store. Oh my god. Wait, why were you there? Huh? Oh no, I'm gone. Yeah, let me fix your car. Here I go. Well, if he hates that sergeant so much, why does he keep talking about him? And would a general really even have direct contact with a sergeant? Questions keep mounting. I've increased your exhaust and optimized your higher gears. That means you can drive at a faster top speed. But there's still plenty of stuff I can do to make your car go faster. Just come see me again and I'll customize your car a little more. I was at the gay pornography store. I was buying gay pornography. It's not that he was buying gay porn. He was buying, you know, the, the stupid mainstream stuff. It was bad taste. Ah, I see. Zach, he's got a point. Uh, someone said to buy Emily's car. I cannot buy Emily's car. I have to unlock it, I guess? Do I have to do Emily's quest? I'm guessing so, yeah. Alright, that's fine. I don't know if I hate The Last of Us 2. It was just kind of... At the end of it, I guess I do kind of hate it because I really enjoyed The Last of Us 1. So, considering that's what the sequel ended up being, is just a huge, huge disappointment. So, I hate it for what it could have been instead, rather than hating it for what it is, I, if that makes sense. But, I'm not sure if that's fair to say I hate it in that, if that's the case. I don't know. The hate that some people have for it is definitely overblown as hell, though. It's really cringe. Like, how can you hate a game or a story or a movie that much? How can you hate, like, um... Like, someone for having an opinion that much, even, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I just don't, I don't get it. I, it just really confuses me. Non-grass touchers? Maybe. I feel like that's sort of a cop-out, though. I feel like, for a while, opinions were really intense on the internet, and then people started, like, playing it off as a joke and becoming really intense to have like let's let's have fights and arguments about stupid shit and then we'll get really really heated and we do that like we did at the beginning of this stream that sort of thing and i think people used to do that with video games and i think along the way some people have forgot that it's meant to be a joke you know or it's meant to be funny like you're meant to be having a good time in these conversations you're not actually meant to 
viciously fucking hate someone because they like to put pineapple on pizza but maybe i'm just being naive or whatever like but like it's it's always been funny to me and fun but sometimes we're, we're in these conversations and i see a couple people in chat not always not a lot but um they are always there but it's not it's only a couple it's not a lot everyone um, and it's just like, like, why are you getting so mad? Like, well, like, why is this so intense? Like, holy shit, calm down. It's like, do you, like, do you not understand? Like, it's just like, this, this is a riff, you know? Like, we're, we're going back and forth on this shit. Like, you know, like, so I don't know. I feel like that happens quite a bit with, um, with movie and video game opinions. More video game opinions than anything else. I don't know. So you don't hate Steins Gate? I mean, do I hate it? Because I think it's like bad yeah but do i hate it to the point that i'm like permanently like pissed off and like jimmy jostled about it like do i wake up every single day fueled by how much i hate steins gate and blah, wow that was so trash like like no like absolutely not it's it's a it's a vn who cares all right we're going to 10 o'clock right i can understand getting that intense into things if you're someone who who is basing their platform on politics and really serious political discussions but those are really tiring to me for a whole other reason but when it comes to like oh i discuss books and and movies and and video games um i don't get it i don't really see the conversations get as stupidly intense with other mediums as i do with video games maybe with some like marvel movies and stuff i don't really see many music discussions so i can't say for that for sure but it definitely doesn't happen with books in my experience all right so here we go it's 10 o'clock Star Wars fans, yeah, like, but now you're getting, I, I guess maybe it's more of a nerd culture thing, actually. Let's eat some pickles. Nerds just don't know how to have a, a real conversation. And I feel like that wasn't always the case, but maybe it is. Maybe I'm just being stupid or naive. I don't know. You haven't talked to any Brandon Sanderson fans? I have not, no, no. Do, Bra do Brandon Sanderson fans, like, lord over their superior taste over other people? Where is a, um, a save here? Is there one over there in, at the bar? Yeah, I see a phone. I would like to save it. Like to save it. Someone linked some threads from when the Lord of the Rings films were first released and people were calling for Peter Jackson's death. Um, I mean, the fact that you have to go that far back for something like that, like, whereas that's like a weekly occurrence with video games. <laughs> right? I don't know. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I just feel like it's, it's way more prevalent with, um with video games. I'm sure you could find more recent examples than that, yeah. I'm, I'm not meaning to straw man you, sorry. Or, um, like, fixate on a, a weak bar. part of, of the evidence you're presenting. Just as we planned, then. I wonder what happens next. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, take two. Here we go. I envy that. Maybe it's What's nerds. Maybe it's Diane? not video games. Maybe it's video games no are movement. attract more nerds, so it seems like here. it's video games, but it's not. Maybe it's just nerds taking Stay things quickly. too seriously. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. Are nerds more likely to think that objective opinions exist? Is that a nerd thing? I've qualified all of my stances on everything, so my opinion matters more, maybe? Nerds is probably too general of a term, though, because, like, literary nerds are probably not going to have that opinion at all. Let's go. be fun to look into, but, you know. Okay, so I have to stay... Keep it blue. All right, keep it blue. Okay, what if I get too far away? Over 100 is, like... We're screwed? All right, he can't see me because it's raining, but I can see him because I'm a video game protagonist. Okay. I think it's all forms of visual media. Maybe you can confirm if people who like books tell each other the fuck off for their thoughts. No, I've, I've never seen it happen. But when we last spoke about this during the, uh, oh shit. When we last spoke about this during the um, the Half-Life streams, I think, someone said it absolutely, do absolutely does happen in, in, in book discussions and I just haven't seen it. And I was like, okay, well, I, I don't want to like, deny anyone's experience i'm sure it does happen but i just don't think it matters it sorry i don't think it matters <laughs> i don't think it happens that much sorry the m uh, in much like slammed back in the sentence in my thoughts and turned uh happens to matters just good sports fans game nerds are nothing compared to that so that's a good point but Sports is like big on tribalism, right? Like I, I see a lot of similarities between sport group support and like political parties and stuff. It's like my, it's my team versus your team. And I don't see people team up like that typically. Sometimes they do um, when it comes to, to like this sort of thing. Like usually it's the solo like, like keyboard warrior that's just going to bat against someone like that. Like it doesn't need, even need to be a team. It's like objectively correct whatever versus the tribalism of sports i think there's a difference there maybe i don't know 
Sports fans will literally stab each other over the game. Gamers are nothing compared to it. Okay, if we're like, what, what what's what's the comparison right now? Which one's more extreme? I sorry, I didn't know that's what we were, what we were talking about. Uh, or maybe you're just bringing that point up in a vacuum. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, sports fans are are insane, uh, especially UK soccer. Uh, sorry, football um, fans. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. But I think the compares the reason why I was brought up was comparison to see if there's any similarities between the kind of mindset that's there. And I I don't think they're quite the same thing. Like I know this is kind of messed up to say, but I almost kind of get it when it comes to the sport team thing. Like like you're in a group, you're watching your players play live. Like maybe you're in a, a bar setting, or God forbid you're actually there. Like like how hyped up on adrenaline you're really really invested and then it's like oh we won fuck yeah here we go you know like 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 um i i kind of get it man like i understand how you get there but when it comes to like oh i i watched a movie and i loved it so much now it's a part of my identity i'm like what the fuck like i don't get that plus lots of alcohol yeah it's it's a big bonding experience it can be like a, a big part of your uh of your life even this is a quest huh fanaticism messes you up yeah but then you but the danger of not being fanatical about something is that you can turn into someone like me who doesn't really have that strong of an opinion on anything really and that's that might be wild for some of you to hear because like i'm a game critic and i usually have strong opinions on stream and on on, on youtube but like if you like just because i present evidence and want to support my claims doesn't mean i can't be swayed on something or i don't have a lot of self-doubt when it comes to a lot of things that i say and i feel like it can be extremely frustrating to be me. <laughs> so, oh wait, hold on, wind wipers on. Cause it'd be like, damn, like, do I really think that? Is that supported enough for me to think it? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I can, I, I, I feel like I can see a lot of different perspectives of, about a lot of different things and it can be, I can feel very, is milk toast the, the right word when it comes to this sort of thing? I don't know. Have you ever doubted your opinions on anime? My opinions on anime are, are non-existent. I don't really, from what little I've seen of anime, I do think that it's a little bit too pervy, sometimes very immature, isn't really paced all that well, but I haven't experienced enough anime to ever go to bat with those opinions and think that they're actually worth a shit to anyone who, who knows anime. Like, I I stay in my fucking lane, man. I'm not stubborn, I'm reasonably swayable. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, so, like, sometimes there's, there's those kind of interactions where I'm like, I really think I'm right here, and I go to bat, and it's just, like, stepping out of your box and immediately getting fucking punched in the stomach and it's like oh shit like maybe i wasn't but i still think i was right about that sorry that's why when i do argue i usually go real hard because i pick my arguments i pick my battles like when it's a serious discussion when it's like a serious like like i really feel strongly about this like this isn't a joke we'll try and keep it funny but i am really going to seriously argue against something usually i feel really really strongly about my position and it's going to be really hard to convince me otherwise not because i'm like no, I've made this a part of my identity. I must think this is like, no, because I've, I've really put the work in here and I really think that I'm right. Um, and every other time it's like, eh, you know, we can have some fun and we'll and we'll just like have some bullshit bickering back and forth and some people can tell the difference, but you know, whatever, it's still fun. No Joker got no G like cricket. I don't even understand how cricket is played. I understand that even the people who do play cricket, cricket don't understand that either. I don't like cricket, no. I like saying it though, it's a fun word to say. I'm not stubborn, I'm right. Yeah, and I said before that what I wanted to say, or what I meant to say, was I'm not stubborn, I think I'm right. Did I say that after I said it? Or or did it was it later that I that I said it? I can't remember. Like I wasn't sitting there stubbornly arms crossed going, you know, you're all making some good points right now, but fuck you, I'm right. Like, no, I really did think I was right. And I still do. I still do think about it. That's the sprinklers, isn't it? I still do think that. It's really hard to argue a chat about anything serious, though. It's usually a waste of time. It can be fun, don't get me wrong, and it, not only can it be fun, it can be entertaining, but I prefer the lighter, like, conversations that we had at the beginning of stream where we're, like, we're kind of, like, having shouting matches back and forth with each other, and it's fun, rather than trying to have a serious, like, let's move the conversation forward, because it's never going to fucking work. And, it, like, there's only... The only thing that can really happen is moving backwards because me or someone in chat is going to say something that's going to be misunderstood or misconstrued as, as being way more negative than it actually was meant to be. And then someone's going to get, um, get angry. Like, legitimately angry. And it's not going to end well at all. Okay, we did it. What is this? Am I gonna have to hit a button here? Is this a QTE? Wait, where'd the truck come from? Thomas, no! Damn, we lost him. Gonna have to try again tomorrow. Emily, you're gonna turn into a goddess? 
spy fiction. We'd all have halos by now if I was driving. I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. Might be actually. Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't worry, time to get serious. Hold on, you two, this might get bumpy. What is the audio quality here? Was hard for you to play and speak when you started streaming? If you asked how long to get used to it, um, it was a little difficult. Yes, especially when it came to reading chat. But I had a lot of World of Warcraft experience to 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 draw from from being a raid leader. Is Nick here, George? No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a little. But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. Uh-oh. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Dishwasher repairman? Had a whiskey? Okay. George is pretty sus right now. Do you think you would ever commit to an MMO again? Uh, no, I don't think so, ever. No. Like, maybe play one casually for some fun experience, maybe? But, like, definitely not to the level of leading a guild, raiding, that sort of thing. Nick and Diane are probably both inside. George, you're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Not that I don't trust you, George, but I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? What? Not that I know of. How are you positive? Well, I'll go look for one. Help me out if you can, would you? I'm just standing in the rain. Oh, we got the, uh, the coat. Uh-oh, it's evil time. No cars have shown up. I haven't seen Nick either. I know, I know, George. This isn't about that. All right, is there a phone? I would like to... Oh, there's a phone. Nice. All right, don't want to do that uh, chase sequence again. Uh, when I used to raid in World of Warcraft, I was raid leader and main tank for not the whole time, but for like 90% of the time that I that I was running um, a guild, I was the main tank. Um, so I would do the main tank roles uh, while also doing raid callouts like putting markers down on the ground. I would I was very heavy on the micromanagements while also like talking to people and being like, hey, next phase is coming out. Remember, we have to do this sort of thing. Then while we were going through the, the dungeon, like, like, I know this is gonna sound cringe, but like actually talking to the people in the group, like keeping morale up, like having a conversation going, let's talk about some stuff. So what have you done recently? Like keep keeping everyone in, keeping everyone's interest high in what we're doing, like because there's a lot of trash mob downtime between the bosses sort of thing. Um, so having to do that while also playing um, a game while answering a lot, oh, an onion, while answering a lot of DMs, that sort of thing. Uh, a lot of that experience was directly transferable to streaming and being able to talk to chat while also doing something like playing a game. Um, but it still was, a, a pretty big learning curve when it comes to it um not to like toot my own horn but when it comes to reading chat and responding and having a conversation going when it comes to, and playing a game i think i'm pretty good at it so the rare joe will admit he's good at something um is is there uh yeah i, I feel like i'm pretty good at that i'm not the best but and sometimes i have my bad days but i think i do it fairly well can we climb up and sneak in no we can't but you can go back um honestly even as recently as I think the most recent stream that I noticed it when I watched part of it back was the, was the Celeste Chapter 9 stream. You can go as recently back as that and you will see how much better I've come at, <laughs> how much better I've become at um, at talking to to chat. Uh, even though I'm stumbling over my words right now, I'm getting a little tired. Uh, like the way I, I speak and enunciate words, my tone of voice even, um, I think it's not necessarily I've gotten better at speaking in that way, but just that I'm less nervous. Even back then, I was pretty like, oh god, like, here we go. And I've gotten more comfortable with it, I think. Maybe he took a different side road from the forest. The sheriff says he hasn't seen him. To be honest, I'm still in Persona 5 and Dragon Romper, your best You think so? I don't think I interact well during those, or as well as I do now. Or I don't speak as well, he said, saying well a bunch of times. Well, if Nick was headed anywhere, it was here. Tank is the hardest rolling wow, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it's the hardest one to learn. You know what? Maybe healing is the hardest one to learn because a lot of healers have to use third third party mods and add-ons and shit. So maybe maybe that's the hardest to learn. But if you do have the mods, then it's it's not that bad. Um, I think tanking is up there, but when it comes to the very very top 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 high ends, uh, DPS is the hardest and the most valuable. Has the highest ceiling, but maybe with DPS in uh, in the most recent expansions, um, tanks can also have to maximize their damage. I'm not sure. Beginning to run past. 
Nick Cormack. He's here. We found him. Someone else said something. I want to answer it, but now I can't remember what it was. DPS is a joke in most of them. Do you really think so? Like, in almost all cases, there are some exceptions, but in almost all cases, DPS is what is the bottleneck that's going to hold you back from progression. So, like... Okay, so there's two different ways to take this. Being a, being a DPS is is uh, is easy to play, or is a DPS valuable? Now, D DPS is undoubtedly valuable. It's like probably the most important resource you have for a raid for progressing on bosses. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the most difficult to play. Now, I think it, it is at the high level because it's sort of like trying to get through a level in neon white is that you have to be so comfortable with all the buttons that you have and all the options that you have and, and the fight itself to know when to use your cooldowns effectively, when to use your, your second potion. Um, but also your movement is super, super important because let's say like your if your movement in neon white is that you turn corners not sharply as much as you, you need to or you're, you're eating too much time readjusting and you're not traveling in a straight line, this really adds up throughout the whole entire short duration of the run to like an extra second or an extra half a second or if you're really bad like seconds whereas in, a, in an mmo raid encounter you can have little bits like that where you're not being active with your dps because you still need to adjust to avoid damage or you don't know the fight very well or you're not really that comfortable with your rotation um i played a, a mage a lot and i would notice that a bad habit of mine that because i could cast cast scorch while moving was that i would constantly be spamming scorch because i wanted the freedom to be able to move and that my dps would be a lot lower because i wasn't casting fireball because it was harder to, to, to squeeze them in effectively um at that level that that is really hard to do well really 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 hard to do well and i think that's where the skill ceiling comes in and it's really tricky to be able to perform a basic rotation yeah that's pretty easy but to do it at a high level like no not at all have you watched the cyberpunk anime are you going to talk about in the witcher video no emily i want you guys to wait out here i know no to both, I'm yeah. I'm not going to fight you about this anymore. But promise me this. If there's trouble, then you'll call us in, okay? I have the radio. I will. You might not think so, but we're a team. Oh, she's dead for sure. Here comes the death a flag. Team. That's what I think, at least. And I'm interested in you and Zach. I don't want anything to happen to you before I hear more about you two. Oh my god, are we flirting? Are we flirting? It crashed. You watch the shitty what, The Witcher show, but not Edge Runners. Yeah, because The Witcher show is live action and Edge Runners is a cartoon. Get fucked, weep. Do 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 do. Which Witcher show? Are you talking about the uh, Blood Origins one? I didn't watch that one. I watched the the one with Henry Cavill in it, season one and two, and I thought it was okay. Like it's not my favorite show, but I thought it was it was fun. I enjoyed watching it. Season two, I thought was uh, was pretty good in parts. Anyone who hates it because it deviates from the books uh, too much should also hate the games. So, <sighs> most people who hate it for deviating from the books haven't read them. Right, is it the same one? Previously during the investigation. I'm Casey. Uh, okay. I wanted to get through this dungeon before we stop, even though it means we'll be going a little later. But if it crashes again, then I'm going to call it because we're already at five hours. Henry Cavill hates it because of people who made it hate the original property. So do you hate Henry Cavill now? No, I wouldn't hate Henry Cavill if he held that opinion, but I need a source for that opinion because people just assume that's what's going on and it's just never been confirmed for me. Like a couple comments he made in an interview does not a confirmation make. If there is some confirmation there, then obviously I would be like, yeah, okay, yeah, I accept that. Are you planning on watching the last of the show? I'll probably get to it eventually, yeah. Hello, I'm in Henry, Henry Cavill. I hate The Witcher. Hello, Henry Cavill. I love you. Why even have The Witcher show without Henry Cavill? I agree with this, yeah. I really do. Oh, wait. Could we have done this the whole... This is the onion place. Yeah, oh, we could have done this the whole time. Shit. Let's just eat an onion. I would be surprised if it gets more than one season with Thor's brother. I'd be surprised if it gets even that season. I'm, I don't even know why they're trying. I guess they, they think audiences aren't going to notice or know going in, and then they'll just be like, okay, whatever. Because the, the show is really, really popular. That is something that adds a lot of support to the idea that Henry Cavill is out because of creative differences, because the show is so successful that how can they just not buy him out for whatever issue he has, you know? Like, unless it is a creative one that money is no... Like, money, you can't pay me enough to go along with this anymore, you know what I mean? Like, that is a strong evidence, I think. I don't want to skip this scene just in case the scene goes into the next one after this, but we'll see. Have you heard or 
heard of or watched The Legends of Vox Machina? I have never heard of that, sorry. I'm interested in you and Zach. You and Zach. I don't want anything to happen to you before I hear more about you two. Oh, man. If you get it on with your kid... Oh, what's this look she has at the end? She's faking. She's a fake Emily. Zach, did you hear that? She wants to know more about you. Isn't that a nice surprise? Amazing. Amazing Emily. Okay, what do you want to do, chat? Should we do this dungeon? Or should we uh, should we stop it here and continue tomorrow? I'm game for, for doing the dungeon, but if we're going to do the dungeon, I might want to go upstairs and get some water. So I'll be back in like like three minutes. I might pee as well, so maybe we'll make it four. Stop. Stop. Really? Is Ironrath still here? What does Ironrath want me to do? Hello, I am Ironrath. I hate the witchers. <laughs> The art, this part is pretty boring, so I will say no. Well, if it's boring, let's get through it now instead of starting the stream off tomorrow is kind of like a boring uh, beginning, right? He went to work. Did he? Poll says continue. All right. All right, sorry. Lily had made some sausages for the kids, so I snuck a couple. I'm all done, though. Completely done with that. There I am back. If you if you went to, the, to a breakfast place and got 15 sausages and, you know, you got full after eating 14, would you take the last sausage, sausage, would you take the last sausage home or would you just be like, eh, I'm done with this? Does knowing this game is ripping off a lot from Twin Peaks increase your interest in the show? Mm, not really. My interest in that show has always been pretty high. If I ever got a chance to watch it, I would watch it. It's just, uh, just hasn't come together, unfortunately. Eat it anyway, yeah? It, after you eat it, Ronald McDonald shows up and puts another sausage on your plate and says, you like them so much, here's another one. And he continues to do this with every last sausage that, sausage that you eat until you're completely full and cannot stomach another bite. So now there's another sausage left on the table. Are you gonna take it home or are you gonna leave it? Pyramid head? Looks like a scenic painting of a red tree torn to shreds. To shreds, you say? Oh, oh shit. This game has two enemies. Zombies and dogs, and you don't even see the dogs in these sections. It's weird. Mission knife. Nice. Well, I would take it home, but eat it immediately after leaving the restaurant. You're f you f What is it with people? You're full! That's the whole point. That's the whole point of the hypothetical, is that Ronald McDonald has kept showing up until you're completely... You cannot eat anymore. That's the whole point of being full. I don't want to waste it. Okay, so you're taking it home? That's fine. That's, that's a legitimate answer but it's not realistic what do you mean it's not realistic it's a hypothetical it doesn't have to be realistic ronald mcdonald is a time traveling clown genie that's just giving you free food of course it's not but we have to go there because because people won't like understand full means full what is this that's kind of sus not sure if glitch or detail pale portrait on a red background greeting us with a creepy smile is it gonna fall off but that's his bug but full doesn't mean full. Of course it is. You can be full. You can be full to the point that you can't eat anything else without vomiting. Of course you can. What do you mean? I don't think that you should have to get to that level before you consider yourself full, by the way. I think you should be more aware of what your limits are and be like, okay, how, how much food should I be eating? What's, what's a good portion for me? Huh? I order a second portion to go and throw the last sausage from portion, portion one into the box with it so I can eat it at home without Ronald forcing me to. So you're so committed to not wanting to waste this last sausage that you are willing to, to get more food. Oh, a new enemy. You're willing to get more food. Okay, what if they're out? They don't have any more. What is the sound? Okay, so when you're like like that, I can't hit you. Oh. Man, that blended in with the attack thing there. Alright, let's heal. I'm a redditor. I'd recommend the shotgun to kill this thing. I don't have a shotgun. Wait, do I? I don't have a shotgun. I have a, a, a submachine gun. Oh, I was too close. Damn. Well, I'm learning. Okay, it seems like they take a... Oh, fucking hell. R. 
Uh, it seems like they take a, a couple, like, minimum damage, and then they will uh, stop taking damage. They'll go immune. Like, even with the pistol, I was able to shoot them a couple times with the pistol, and I can only, I can shoot them a lot less with a submachine gun, it feels like. Are the sausages lean or regular meat? I'm not sure. They're, like, pre-made sausages, like breakfast sausages. That's why I do the good quests for strong weapons. I didn't know there were weapons from quests. What if it's worth it to do, uh, to use a melee weapon? It's okay, we'll get through it, don't worry. <coughs> Excuse me. What does this uh, music remind me of? Final Fantasy song. Alright, we got him. So we're fine. We're fine. Alright, that's the only one of those, right? Opinion on Ru a RuneScape? I don't know anything about RuneScape. Other than it looks like ass. So there's that's my opinion. RuneScape looks like ass. Now you stream Forspoken Fridays on Saturdays. Do you think it is, a, it is good to stream a few games simultaneously? Or is it better to stream one game until you finish it and then go to the next one? I think that the absolute peak of the meta for, for Twitch would be finding, like, like, streaming two or three, possibly as many as four games at once. And people who want to show up for those certain streams will, will prioritize some games over others. I think that would be good for variety, but I'm not going to go that far. I think that would be be good. But right now, two seems to, to work out quite well. So like Co-Carnage, is that what Co-Carnage does? I don't, I'm not really that familiar with Co-Carnage. I know who he is, obviously, but I don't really know him that well. A break from a game has got to feel like a relief, right? No, I usually prefer to just, just mainline the game. Unless it's super duper long, I like to just like go for it. Oh, I didn't even see the padlock. Why though? What the hell's that? I smell a puzzle. This is the entrance hall. Hey, Joe, do you think it'd be a cool idea if, for a few games to check out on stream would be early FromSoft games like Enchanted Arms, Evergrace Clock Tower? What are you doing here? Kingsfield? Yeah, I think that could be fun. So it was you. Much more astonishing than I. Nick? No! Don't! Another goddess. Ah. <laughs> How is he getting all this from profiling? Not a big fan of the profiling parts, to be honest. They go on a little too long. It's too hilarious, noise. though. They're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Oh, they're premonitions. Oh, he should just say premon then. Start premonitionizing. Put down. You look awful in that portrait. And that apple looks rotten. What were you thinking? Yeah, I put him down. All right. I don't think this is the right one. Okay, this is actually really funny. <laughs> that looks cool. Maybe more creative enemies was the way to go instead of just zombie, 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 zombie. Okay. Definitely gonna come out of those, right? Tap, tap, tap. What? What's the timer for? Shooting the hands? Shooting the apples? Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Green, green, red, and then the other one, right? So green.
right. Oh, okay. Is it in here somewhere? Why is there a picture here? Somehow it doesn't look natural. Some parts are not in the right place. Can you help me fix it, Zach? What? What are we talking about? Okay, that's just gonna be ripe old age, right? Looks a bit too ripe for me. Yeah, ripe old age. Okay, right. Green apples are better than red apples. apples in the right place. Get back here, Frey. Great. Great. Not a fan of apples, I know. Sometimes yes. eating an apple with the skin on can hurt my teeth a little bit. Like the the chunks of uh of the skin can get between my uh between my gums. Those are amazing. Seeds. Seeds of evil. Let's plant them and see what grows. A red seed could be an important clue in solving this case. Time to profile. So what's real or what isn't? I'm confused. We don't know yet. This definitely seems to be some sort of mix of altered reality and how York is viewing things. It's not clear. Okay, you know what? We don't need to see this again. We'll just view the profiling when we get all the pieces again. Is that a shotgun? Maybe it's meta. Maybe he knows, like, like Zack is uh, a gamer, and that gamers need combat to interact and work things through, and also puzzles. So he just imagines he's in a video game a bit to, to placate Zack and to get Zack on his side. And it's just like, yeah, here we go. This That's how it is. Valid headcanon. Oh, so it's never going to be explained? Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, well. This is one of the rare times where it doesn't actually have to be explained i probably would still like it but it's not necessary red vines are entangled around the guiding rope a no-go for sure yep can't do it there's a sign have to obey the the sign i'm in your walls umfi it's locked i need the key to open it yes yes okay, that was terrible Bullseye. just like taking wall shots and hope for the best Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing then? Am I supposed to just be killing all, this, all the monsters? No? Need a key. If I kill the monsters, will the vines go away? Nice shot. Bullseye. We got the key. We did it. We did it! The one time I try to save time by running past enemies, it turns out I have to be methodical and kill them all. Do 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 do. I missed the first part of the stream. I thought this was just an investigate, inve investigate crime game. How do we get the zombies and hand trees? Oh no, it's it's definitely way more than that. It's a paranormal investigation kind of game with forced uh, third person shooter gameplay. A stiletto heel shoe broken. Becky must have sent these with her letter. Ooh, shotgun shells. And me without a shotgun. Is this game a parody or something? Um, a little bit, yeah. Uh, I think it's an easy trap to fall into, and I think it's one I fall into often by calling something a parody when something is self-aware. So, like, it's not really so much a parody as it is self-aware about certain things. Like, what is with the hand going through the mouth, man? I thought that was you making that sound for just a moment. Well, if it didn't sound like a chicken, that should what be what tipped you off. That was weird. Hmm. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Do, do, have you considered speedrunning Mystery of the Druids in the near future? I have not, believe it or not. I know I'm a big Mystery of the Druids head. Some might even say a stan. Can't wait to play it one day. Uh, but no, I haven't considered speedrunning it. Previously during the investigation. I'm Kaysen, Forest Kaysen. Case in the forest for any dead bodies. All right, let's get through this. Quick and painful. Here we go. Good thing I saved it. 
after the puzzle, huh? Thought I was being a little too careful, but it turns out I wasn't. All right, so there's someone in here. All right, let me through. All right, thank you, very cool. All right, here we go. Yoshi, can I help you? Yoshi, you have food down, you have water down, and you have my respect. What else do you need? Do you need a head pat? Oh, scratch, 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 scratch. I'd scratch your brain if you had one. Oh, scratch, 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 scratch. Yeah, you're a dumb dog. You are. You are. You are. You're pretty dumb. Go down. Go down. Respect. I can respect him, even though he's dumb. All right, here we go. It's not gonna crash when we go through the door again, right? Nice one, dog. We're going through slowly this time. All right, we did it. Yes. Yes. Is the red one just telling me which one it is? Because if it is, that's awfully nice of it. One of these is going to have some, some ammo or goodies or something. Hell yeah. Wait, the mag holds 180 rounds. I thought uh, that was the total. Uh, it's not a mag, it's a clip. I'm annoyed that you got it wrong. Because it no clips into uh, his bag to uh, funnel all the bullets in all at once. I just tried to drink my water bottle without taking the lid off. An upside down piece mark has been drawn in blood on this circular painting, not part of her collection, I figure. Reverse peace sign. Alright, we're gonna profile. This is all three of them now, I think. Profiling, start! Profiling time! You Force cases! So it was you. Who's that? Is that Nick? Is it Kaysen? Oh, she's she's dead. How can you tell if a circle is upside down? Skill issue. A chatter wants to know if you've got any interest in Baba Files Taxes. I don't know what that game is. Is that an expansion to Baba Is You or about uh, tax evasion? I can't imagine how difficult uh, a mod pack to Baba Is You would be considering usually mods take difficulty to the extreme and don't really give a fuck about pacing at all. There are some mods that do, obviously, but most don't. And I respect that, don't get me wrong. Like, but Baba Is You is already a, a really brutally hard game. Or maybe I'm just a brainlet, I don't know. I don't know, doing a bunch of Sudokus and the like, I wonder if, uh, if, I, if I would have an easier time in, in Baba Is You now. I was to play through it again. Obviously, I've already done it once, so I, some parts of it I would remember, but probably not all of it. But I was using the only puzzle game I ever finished. Really, the 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 ending puzzles are really really tough, but uh, they're some of the best in the game, I think. I would be remiss if I didn't say one of the end ones, or maybe it might even be the last one, is kind of bullshit. But I still really really like it because it made sense to me, but I could see how it couldn't to someone or even to me in a different timeline, and I would have been really fucked off by it. It was called, I think, The Box. So if you've played it, you know. I liked it, it was cool, but at the same time, kind of bullshit. I don't remember that one. Did you finish it? Because if you finished it, I'm pretty sure like that's like one of the most memorable ones. Idol? What's Idol? Case of the Golden Idol? Is that like Curse of the Oberdin? I would like to play another game that's like Curse of the Oberdin. Mm -hmm. 
Do, 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 do. Are we kidding? Really? Yeah, they take a like a maximum amount of damage. Well, I was spamming R. Are you serious? Okay, the cycle dead. Got it. Surely they would not put a fourth one. Surely there would not be a fourth one. Surely there would not be a fourth one. All right, we've made we've made the player fight four of these, one in its own before, and then three in a row. Now let's make them fight one with normal zombies around. Now let's make the player fight two of them. Oh, we got an egg. Joe wish for more enemy variety and the monkey paw curl. That's true. That's true. It did. Yep. Yeah. I can't argue with that. That's true. Any interest in the system shock remake? Not really. Which surprises me. I think why is because my gamer critic brain says if you play the remake, you're going to have to power through to the original or else you're not going to understand the comparison. And what if you don't understand something about like that, that this, it did it much better in this area, but some of the soul is lost. So you're going to have to play the original and the original just looks like a huge, gigantic chore to me. So maybe that's why. Why not watch the original? Because watching a game is not the same as playing it. Please continue to watch me. I wouldn't get the full experience enough to like judge it, I think. The letter is by Becky to Diane. Okay, can we read it? No? Okay, we're good. <gasps> Shaving or not? Looking good, York. I think we're good to go. Let's keep going. We must be at the end now. We're done profiling. But then why would it be giving me another save? Are we gonna do two rounds of profiling? You played Nier Automata without playing all the old ones? Uh-oh, are we gonna have this conversation again? Oh, we're out of it. All right, that's cool. Nick. How many people are going to die? Huh? Yeah, she's probably fine. Agent Morgan, where are you? Answer me! Come on, open up! Call for assistance with the body. Wait! She's still alive. George pulls out the wire cutters. Here I go. Uh oh. Diane, don't move. Don't move her hands and stay still. Diane, call out who did it. Sorry, Sheriff Master. I have to go all out just this once. Why are you so, so strong, bro? What the hell? There's not enough time. York. Kino. He's got a ball on his nose. All right, that was pretty cool. Oh, she's dead. Oh, ruined. Thomas, call an ambulance. What? A what? Agent York, George, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm okay. I think I'm too old to be an acrobat, though. Diane He's looks 23. Okay too. She should be able to tell us who did this to her. God, I hope so. 
But you, George, quite a catch. I'm impressed. Hmm? George? Uh. What? Diane. Okay, Diane, start talking, please. Is it gonna fall on and kill her? Oh, yeah. What a beautiful bitch. The reason why she feel off is the many directions. Oh. Is her tongue gone? There's no way it's gonna fall on her, is it? D Diane! Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Huh. Back off! Don't touch me! No. No. No! Hand me. I choose. Emily, hurry! <laughs> what is this scene? Just let her fall on the statue then! What are we doing? He was so unpredictable. What the? F <laughs> oh, she's fine. My God, she's still alive! Lift up the statue. All right, pull her out. Another slow mo. All right, we got her out. Okay, let's take her to the car. Who did this to you? Another rant about art. Oh no, the storm's picking up. Lightning bolt just came down and hit her in the face. Damn, she died after all. Okay. I requested Amy. Uh oh. Thomas will need a body bag too. <laughs> Was that the, the tongue removing tool there? <laughs> Nick, quiet. Is it mud all over his face, that? or what's going on? Mm -hmm. Is it soot? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> ruff, ruff, detective dog here. Let me take over the case. No, you can't. You're just a dog. No, I'm a secret FBI agent. I'm your superior, actually. I'm the one who called in and warned them about you coming. Oh, damn. You're right. I heard about this on the force. All right. Thank you. Sorry. To follow. Shall we follow, Zach? Why is there no sound? Oh, there is. How's it going, Nick? Diane, why? Oh, Diane. Save. All right. All right. We got through the dungeon. We will start tomorrow with... Uh, whatever the hell is going to happen next here, which I'm very invested. I would like to know. This was wild. No, 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 okay. No, 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 what, 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 have to follow the dog? Zach, Willie is calling for us. I wouldn't want to let down Willie. Oh man, every single time it just teleports me a little closer and now I can't get out. And that's it for me, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for hopefully not a scuff start. I will check the game frame rate before launching the stream tomorrow. And uh, we'll try and make some more progress. I don't know how much main quests we're going to be doing tomorrow, but I know there are some, a few side quests we have to mop up. 
uh, sorry, a few side quests to start if we, um, if we want to uh, get some of the weapons. I didn't know there were weapons, so that's what I want to do now. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your night.